Not Shadow the Hedgehog music. Oh, uh, you're right. Shadow the Hedgehog theme song. You're right. You're right. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta be honest and play this one. God, it, he really does shoot Sonic in that game. <laughs> he really does gun Sonic down with the machine gun. He shoots him and kills him. And then he goes into a sewer and helps Charmy pick up garbage. The big bee guy he helps him pick up trash out of the sewer, which was his one good deed before I think he goes and like kills the president. I think he does. I think he does go and kill the president after. God, what a guy. But hey, nah, nah, for real though. Uh, fucking hell, dude. Sonic has some of the best soundtracks out there. Mario is cool and all, but I, I genuinely always thought the Sonic, like, one and two soundtracks were better. So Mario's great, but I think Sonic slap. This is my, this is Sonic Mania, though. This isn't the, uh, this isn't the old school ones. Sonic did one thing really well, and it wasn't its gameplay, because everyone fucking knows Sonic's gameplay always sucked. Don't lie. Don't fucking lie. Don't lie. I was a Sonic kid, and I knew. But their songs slapped. They slapped hard. And the visuals, Sonic was always a very pretty old game. They aged very well. It's a very pretty game. So, you know. Sonic is also, I would dare say, I don't know if you guys sort of view it this way, but like, hey, the second act of Sonic 2, he's running through a chemical plant? One, not sure he has a license to be doing that. I don't know, Sonic kind of does land near domestic terrorists. <laughs> uh, he, he really does break into a chemical plant and just start breaking things. Uh, he just starts breaking valves and like destroying stuff. And I'm just sitting here like, Sonic, dude, it was Eggman's chemical plant. <laughs> there was some robots in there, but I mean, like, here's the thing. The chemical plant is already, it's already done the worst it can do, which is be made and start making chemicals. However, if you wreck all of it, all those chemicals will now, I guess he's not a domestic terrorist, he's an eco-terrorist. And, uh, he... I feel like the ke if you destroy the chemical plant, all the chemicals would just get everywhere and kind of just destroy the whole place. You know, all of it. All of it. Sonic Heroes Remastered. I played through Sonic Heroes so many times and it wasn't because I loved the game. It was because I couldn't beat like the, like the eighth zone or something with like, it was in like a weird like desert. And there was this one part where you had to go really fast on these, like, go-karts. And I would die there three lives every time and have to reset the whole game. It was the second level of that zone. I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember it like it was yesterday. I perfectly, I have it perfectly memorized. What is this song from? You know the classics, huh? That's fucking, that's Chemical Plant Zone 1. From Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania has some fucking good songs in it too. I would say I would say Sonic Mania is one of my favorite soundtracks in uh, in games. God, they fucking nailed that whole OST, dude. It's up there with like Shovel Knight. I don't know. I've also got a soft spot for older school, like you know, stuff like this. Damn. You should stream Overwatch 2. Dude, half the streamers don't even know which game they're playing looking at the fucking categories. 
So I don't know. Can I just turn on Overwatch 1 and just get in there? <laughs> if I turn on Overwatch 1 and play Overwatch 1 today, do I get to cut into like some of this some of this pie? Do we get a slice of the pie? <laughs> They are literally the same game. Leave Sam alone. It's not just Sam. The majority of people are playing Overwatch 1 as their category instead of 2. And I'm sitting here like, are they? I had to like triple check and be like, what are they playing? <laughs> they're the same. They're truly the same game. Look, here's the thing. Frankly... I'm okay with a company reiterating on a bunch of mechanics and making a quote unquote what should be labeled as an Overwatch 1.5. While yeah, Blizzard makes a lot of their money off Overwatch from their fucking shitty loot drop like loot box systems. Everyone knows how fucking controversial all that shit was. Like to my knowledge, a lot of like the maps and stuff that they always put out for those games were free and same with characters. So Overwatch 1 has been not really making money off of anything other than the microtransactions, you know, in a long time. People that have gotten Overwatch have already had Overwatch. They've had it forever. So I don't really care. That doesn't, that doesn't, I'm not going to rag on them for that, you know. I don't really care enough. <laughs> there's, there's, there's better things to pick on Blizzard for. <laughs> There's like, there's like a hundred different things I can focus on with Blizzard <laughs> that don't involve Overwatch 2 being just more Overwatch 1. You know, it's just, it's just no time. Overwatch was good for like 10 minutes at the start, then downhill. To be honest, chat. I genuinely quite enjoy Overwatch. I, I'm not going to be like, I don't. Dude, I don't like anything that's popular. No, I fucking love Overwatch. I think it's a fun game. Like, I, I play when I play it with my friends, I have a good time. I play Roadhog. I grab some people. I shoot them in half. And then I smile and I say, that made me feel alive for just a second. You know, but I'm not like, I'm not one of the hardcore gamers that played it for 80,000 hours and then grew to hate it over the course of that time. I, I played... At most, maybe 40 hours of that game ever. Over the course of the last, like, you know, six years or something. And I, it was always in a group of, like, six friends. Or five friends. And me. So. Different experience, I guess. And I mean, while I'll never play it on stream, God, no. I'll probably play the new one. Well, no. I don't think so. Probably not. <laughs> For a second, I was like, maybe. No. No. No, no. No. Play Overwatch 1.5. Well, look, I will personally, I have no intention of playing any fucking games really from Activision in general on my stream for the foreseeable future out of simply protest for all their big mistakes and problems. I don't need to. Uh, so I definitely wouldn't be playing it on stream and promoting their products. So I just don't feel like it. I just don't want to. I don't need to, nor do they need me to. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I'm not really making a valiant stand, though. I don't need clapping. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not changing the market by choosing not to. It's just. It just makes me feel a little bit better. I don't know. It makes me personally feel like. Eh, I feel. I feel weird playing anything. Like it's like it'd be like I don't know. Something off about it to me. So brave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
It's a different story when it's like, hey, my friends want me to play a game with them off stream. I'm not promoting it anymore. That's me like playing something with my friends. I don't know if I hold the same uh, like position at that point if I'm not personally advertising a game for them. Like there, there's a difference to me, you know? But what if they play the game with you on their stream? I'm not, that's not my brand. That's me playing a game with my friends. I, I very rarely look at any time that I'm playing a game with a friend as, oh, I'm streaming with my friend, unless I'm live on my side. Because I don't know if you remember, when I went into Capcom's sponsored stream for uh, Sam, for Rise, I do believe I immediately dumped on that game so hard that Sam had to remind me it was sponsored. I do recall dumping on it so hard, like multiple times, and he had to remind me like actually three and possibly upwards of five times that it was a sponsored stream we were on and that I can't literally say I'm going to use cheat engine to skip the shit parts verbatim. I will use cheat engine to skip the shit parts of Rise <laughs> while playing a character named Big Load. Hey, Tomato, long time viewer, first time chatter here. Just wanted to say have a great national help a horse day. Dude, when have horses ever helped me? <laughs> when's, the, when's the horses help me day? You know what I'm saying? When, when have I ever looked outside, found my tires slashed, and then looked around and been like, now where's the horse to take me to where I need to be? Chop, chop. Think about it. Ever used glue. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> I hate the chat. I hate the chat. Today's stream's gonna be fun. Uh, it's not gonna be as long as I was, honestly, the trolley game went longer than I was expecting, actually. And as a result, my throat cold that I've been having on and off for the last week has has returned, and my throat's a little sore again. Uh, this is a roguelike game, so we'll go until I've completely dominated it, which could be a couple hours. It could be eight hours. Who fucking knows? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna label it. But I felt like playing a roguelike. And then uh, tomorrow is the Stanley Parable new thing. I should be streaming it tomorrow. I have a. I'm getting, I'm getting an, like, an allergy medication that I have to sit in the doctor for for, like, a fucking couple hours in the morning while they, like, observe me to make sure that the medication doesn't, like, make me explode, because apparently it can make you explode. So, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I gotta get up early, so if I'm not streaming tomorrow, it's because I was just, like, a zombie and I didn't sleep very well beforehand. I hate those. It's like a, look, uh, it's fine. I'm going to be fine. It's one of those things where the doctors can't re, even though that everyone knows you're going to be good. They can't be like, here's this medication. Now get out. And then I walk outside and explode. They, they literally have to be like, here's your medication. Bars the door, locks it eight times. Now you stay right here. We have to watch you from behind this blast proof glass to make sure you don't blow up. Because if we let you blow up, we're in big trouble. So even though you're not going to blow up, wait here for two hours. You got any podcasts to listen to? I'm going to be sitting in a fucking office for two hours at an allergist listening to people sneeze while I wait for uh, a medication to not explode me. Is what tomorrow's going to be. Gotta wake up at like 8 a.m. <laughs> Gotta wake up so early. Bring the switch. Dude, I wish Tunic was on the Switch, dude. I've been playing more of it. I've been really enjoying it. And all I wish is that it was a con like a Switch game. I don't think it is. Feels like it should be. It might be a Switch game. I don't feel like it is, though. Put Stardew on your Switch. No, dude. I don't bring the deck. <laughs> no! Someone would steal it anyways. Plus, I didn't get it. 
Steam Deck it. Dude, here's the thing. I definitely gave them $5 to reserve one, like, months ago, apparently. But I don't know when they take the rest of my money. Nor do I know anything else about the ordering process. So I'm just, like, kind of, like, that's kind of donezo. I just don't care enough is the thing. They have my five... Fa Gabe has my $5 somewhere in his wallet. And... I think there's a gigantic backlog. I mean, I don't really much care. I... I rem all I remember from it is that I probably got I was probably delirious one day and ordered it because I remember when it ha when it was announced I was like this is dumb this is stupid I remember dumping all over it. I took a big heaving dump all over it and then suddenly I had a reservation for it in my uh you know in my in my uh accounts so who knows Is your deck going to be vac banned too? You think it releases like a fucking siren alarm when I get near someone else's Steam Deck so everyone knows to stay away from me? Because I'm a dirty, little, dirty, nasty criminal? It's the 5G chips. Dude, I had, I had a weird chip uh, encounter today. I went up to get, like, coffee, and I just found a full, like, potato chip just on my coffee machine for no reason. Like, we don't have potato chips in my house. I don't know why there was one on my coffee. It was, like, sitting perfectly centered on my coffee machine. Like, some actually chaotic thing. Kitchen goblin. I don't know. I immediately threw it out. I wasn't going to eat it. I was like, why is there a potato chip on my coffee machine? And I threw it in the garbage. I was not going to eat it. I, look chat, some of you guys are fucking psychos and you'll eat anything someone puts in front of you. But a singular, a, a, ba a small bag of chips, okay, is different. If it was bagged pristine in a bag, I'd eat anything almost anywhere. However, a singular chip, that's like a singular slice of a pickle. That's like a single, like, pickle slice. Like, that's, that's not the same. This is, this is now untenable. You know? What about a burger that happens to be in a sewer? We've done this a thousand times, and every single time I add the part that you guys exclude because you are biased and you want me to fail. Uh, so, we're not even going to go there. We're not even going to bother. You can't handle it. Genuinely can't. You just can't handle it. What about a jar of peanut butter that's been in the trash? Listen here. If something has truly, consciously been fully placed into a garbage bag, it is garbage. I don't care what anyone says at that point. That is garbage now. And if you take it out and eat any of it, you're eating garbage. Uh, the fucking... The, what about the sewer? What about the sewer? What, you're fucking what about? Bullshit chat. It's getting a little old. It's getting a little... It's a little pathetic. You wait about the sewer. You gotta talk about it. You can't say anything because what about the sewer? Listen to you. <laughs> You're getting old. But what if the peanut butter was in the sewer? Is that garbage? People don't usually open up a manhole cover and dump their uh peanut butter into it, so I don't think I'd count it as garbage. I would say that's a strange thing to have in the sewer. Do you usually grab a crowbar, crack open the manhole, and just dump all your trash into the manhole? <laughs> you little fucking freak. You nasty fuck. You don't? No. 
Unfortunately, no, because I don't have a manhole cover near me to use for that purpose. I don't have many manholes around me, believe it or not. Which means, unfortunately, the odds of me ever meeting the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are low. <sighs> Which, I would like to say, if I met one of them, I would beat them with a hammer so fast they would not be able to respond with their ninja skills, the speed at which my hand would crush and kill their mutant body. Freak of nature. Monster. We got an E.T. scenario on our hands. Streamer thinks he's faster than Leonardo. Chat! Turtles are slow. Their mutant power simply made them passable, all right, to human speed. I watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, okay? Of course, the live action one. I'm not, I'm not, we're not talking about animated bullshit because everyone knows that like animations cheat, okay? I could take any one of those guys. They looked like they were like fucking fun. They looked like they were miserable to be alive, okay? They didn't want to be alive. They can dodge laser beams. Have you seen? Dude. No, they can't. <laughs> I checked that movie. They didn't dodge any lasers. They shredded Shredder and you're no Shredder. Let me be clear. They pushed Shredder in a 1v, like, 4 match off of a roof in one attack and then crushed him in a garbage, uh, a trash dumpster, like a big dumpster, they crushed him. That, that, well, didn't really, that didn't really use any of their techniques. They just knocked him off of a roof and then crushed him. I am not on a roof nor near a dumpster, therefore, their only tools to fight me are gone. I assume my battle pose, which is also coincidentally this image. And I prepare for combat. Prepare your most honorable strike. And I will respond in kind. And that neat, <laughs> that yo sound file plays in the background. The classic. It was the trash man who did the final blow to Shredder. Uh, it's just... Uh, that movie was a trip. I don't think I could ever look at it again, though. It was It was just so... It was... Look, the, the problem... the Really, the worst part of that movie was how quickly everyone was, one, okay with the turtles living in a sewer, and seemingly afraid to offend them to the point where they were willing to fully submerge their shoes in sewer shit piss water. And then proceed to wear those shoes for the rest of the day. Tomato is a bad guess. Dude. Hey, turtle. It's cool to know that you are, that you exist, but you stink like shit. You look like monsters. I don't want to hang out with you. Not just any sewers, the New York sewers. New York stinks like shit on the streets. I don't want to know what the fuck they smell like. Some Wingding45, a classy chatlet, says, I've always wanted to peel their shells off. I've always wanted to just grab one and rip their shell off their back, killing them. <laughs> I just wanted to just want to see what would happen. 
You, what are you, a, what are you, a sicko? <laughs> Some kind of sicko? Chat, is it? But the thing is, the thing is, is it murder to kill a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? They are not. I do not think human laws apply to them. Yes. No, I don't think so. They're sentient. Are the are the laws? Do the laws state at the end of every single one this only applies to sentient beings? Because I I don't. It'd be animal cruelty. But I would dare say I don't think I classify the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as animals. Uh, I think they're more of like an alien kind of uh, homunculus kind of thing. They're not. There's something wrong there. You know? They're turtles. Every turtle I see crawls around on the ground, moves slow, and doesn't say cowabunga. Oh, and you want to know another thing about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I, I remember now? That really fucking threw me for a loop and pissed me off and made it really seem like Shredder was definitely not the antagonist of that movie. They did not tip. They made a fucking pizza guy deliver to a manhole cover and then took the pizza and I don't think they even paid. I don't even think they even paid the pizza. I think they just... They, I know I didn't even pay. They truly just ordered a pizza, had the guy deliver it to a manhole, and then scared him so bad that he just dropped the pizza, and then they left, and he went, Oh, man. This job sucks. Which was probably the most reasonable response, because, dude, I swear, like, I, I'm not gonna die uh, for a pizza, like, for my delivery pizza, but I, I will if someone takes it without tipping. And they don't seem to threaten me with any kind of physical violence. I'm going to chase after that person and sort of psycho kill them. I will destroy those turtles if they take the pizza and don't tip. I will kill them. Into the sewer? Well, no, I'll just grab my, you know, government-issued, every citizen gets one firearm and just fire it blindly into the manhole. Like, into the hole in the manhole where the bullets, where, the, where you're meant to shoot into the manhole when there's a monster in the sewer, and I'll just kill them. <laughs> Shredder paid his minions. Yeah, no, actually legit, in the, in the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles like, live action movie, everyone that worked for Shredder had a really good fucking deal. They had like a rad hangout spot. They actually like legit had benefits. Like it was it was pretty crazy. True. I I used to work for the sh would you chat would you guys <laughs> would you guys would you guys uh get a job as like a and like a perfect job but one of the one of the caveats is at the bottom it says a, a big turtle might break into the premises and beat you up would you still take it okay okay so all the benefits apply to everything else but any fucking injuries you sustain on the job as a result of specifically the turtle, the big turtle that breaks in and beats you up, is not on them. Like, you will be alerted, there will be an alarm that goes off, and you'll have time to kind of, like, get out of there. But the job is perfect aside from the fact that you have zero coverage as soon as the turtle shows up, and then it tries to beat you up. Can we hide from the turtle? Oh yeah, you can totally try to hide. And they'll probably find you. But you can try. They're ninjas, you can't hide from them. Can I sue the turtle? No, absolutely not. 
No judge would ever field that case. There's no way they'd ever allow that turtle in the courtroom. They smell like shit and piss. Is the turtle like a jump scare? No, you can hear him coming down from the screaming. You can hear him coming down the road. He's coming down the he's coming down the hall. You can hear him screaming from all the other employees that did not get. They didn't listen to the alarms. Can I shoot the turtle? I mean, you can try and likely fail. Five nights at Shredder's. <laughs> Excellent job, aside from the fucking turtles that break in and try to beat you up every night. Five nights at Shreddy's. <laughs> God damn it. Just don't suck at your job. Oh no, let me be clear. There is no job way to prevent it, this is like truly like a like a normal job, except sometimes someone just breaks in and tries to beat you up. Like it's you are not a security guard, you are like an accountant. If we get injured, do we get paid leave? Absolutely not, no. Anything that happens once the turtle gets in does not count. Uh, for your coverage or any kind of benefits. You will be... You will be out on your own. Bummer. This job sucks. Here's the thing, though. Look up. Look up. Dude, watch the live-action TMNT movie. The Shredder had a pretty good deal out there for those... For, for, for his people. Aside from the children he employed. He employed a lot of children... He was kind of making like a child army of kung fu warriors. The music fucking stopped. I like this song. Fighting, look. True, as it is, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are in fact teenagers. Perhaps it's simply most, it's it's the most humane to have them clash with other teenagers, their own kind. It wouldn't be fair. Put Shadow back on. You don't want that. You think you want that, you don't want that. But you got it. Run, run by uh, Missy's. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thanks. 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 Very kind of you, thanks. Put on almost dead from Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Is that... What's that one? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Almost dead. One of these is gonna get me DMCA destroyed. On, uh, not for Shadow, dude. I just can't go down for Shadow. <laughs> That's all. Dude, this is for the two. This is for everyone's favorite video game, Shadow the Hedgehog, where Shadow kills Sonic with a M with a fucking M1911. By the look of the picture here, it looks like Shadow is holding a photorealistic M1911. Yeah, yeah. I have a picture on my screen of Shadow with a gun. It is, it is truly just a, 
It is it is just a gun. It's not like a cartoon gun. That's just a <laughs> That is a gun. It's a gun, Shadow. That's a gun. I've had enough of this. Let's go back to good songs. I just can't. It's so bad. Let's grab the good one. This one's one of the best ones. Ah, oh, the classic. This is like the best song in Sonic Mania. That song's so good, dude. That whole zone was so good. Fuck, I love Sonic, man, you dude. Took him a long time to make a decent one, and then they kept making- and now they're making shit again. <laughs> it's like Sega has this thing, this fascination. It's like- it's like they're sick. It's their perverted fascination. Every- <laughs> They can't- They have to make- They have to make, like, fucking- three shit Sonic games and then make a good one and then they make another three shit ones and then they make another good one so we're due for another good one soon name two good Sonic games well Sonic Mania for starters and Sonic Generations <laughs> and they have the allocated amount of space to have come out and I mean, a lot of the older school ones are really good as well. Although, I think Sonic 1 is sort of bad. Sonic 1 is, I think, before they even added Spin Dash, so you couldn't even, like, speed up. You had to have, like, a bumper to spoot, like, to fucking, like, boost you. Coldest take ever. Yeah, I mean, it's easy. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is a fucking masterpiece. No one's gonna argue with that. That's what Sonic, man, like, Sonic CD, even though no one fucking played it, I played it. I got it for the fucking, I got it on, like, my PC somehow when I was a kid. Okay. I got, like, a Sonic Super Collection on, like, a disc, which had, like, every Sonic game ever on it. It was definitely, like, fucking bootlegged. Okay. It even had Sonic Racing on it. And let me tell you what. Sonic did have some real stinkers out there. Sonic had some real stinkers out there. But I still 100%ed that game. And got every emerald. And people who know Sonic Racing, Sonic R... All right, know that I suffered to get it, okay? You'll never ever be able to question my gamer power. Tomato died for arsons. I, look, Dave prides himself as the Sonic kid. Dude, he wasn't even alive when I was a Sonic kid, dude. Legit. He wasn't even born yet when I was a Sonic kid. We will never see Shadow execute POWs. Dude, they might make a Shadow the Hedgehog too. It's only a matter of time before Sega loses their patience again and makes another one. It's only, look, the, the net, we're do a good Sonic game soon. And after that, we got a time for a Shadow the Hedgehog too. And <laughs> Shadow could get up to, they, unless they canonically killed him. Have they, cano is Shadow dead canonically yet? Did they, sh did they kill him? Is he dead? <laughs> Technically, nobody dies. You're right, nobody dies. Yeah, he got shot by his own gun. Classic Shadow. One hundred percent, I'll buy a PS5 to play Shadow the Hedgehog too. Dude, why can't? Why can't big? 
business executives just give me a ton of money so I can uh, do like the whole entire gaming industry for like on the on the behalf of the people. Like cuz I just don't think that the professionals get what the people want. Like we we need to make sure this happens. You know what's going to happen? Didn't they like I don't I haven't watched any of the Sonic the Hedgehog movies, but I think they teased Shadow the Hedgehog in Sonic 2 the movie, which means now's the time. The the children are going to be trying to figure out who the hell this edgy guy is. Wow, spoilers. Gang, but I cannot tell you how sorry I, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I do not. I, let me. Oh, oh, you were watching Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the plot, huh? Trying to catch it for its deep lore. Everyone knows Sonic the Hedgehog has a fucking, has a great A story. They're good movies. I'm not saying they're not, but, okay, but it's the perfect time. It's the perfect time to make a Shadow the Hedgehog game, or perhaps even simpler than that, simply remaster one of the, one of the greats, one of the classics. Bring it back. Though I don't know if Shadow the Hedgehog, and I'm I'm not making this isn't a bit. I definitely remember in Shadow the Hedgehog, doing the evil path, and by the end of it, Shadow the Hedgehog had the president of Freedom Country, quote unquote, on the ground begging for his life, and then he shot him in the head, and killed him. I definitely remember that happening. And then, you know, the, the famous song, the theme happened. So, I mean, I don't know if that... That's stuff that happens in 2006 and should stay in 2006, you know? <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if, like, parents are going to want that the same way that, like... <laughs> games... <laughs> I am all of me, Mr. President. I am all of me, Mr. President. Oh, you know what also was really good Sonic games? The uh, Game Boy Advance Sonic games. Those, no joke slept. Sonic Advance, like one, two, and three, or maybe even just one and two. I don't remember if there was a third. Yeah, no, it was all three. Sonic Advance, one, two, and three. Those were real fucking games, okay? Those weren't like a lot of time you'd get some bullshit. That's where the good Sonic games went while everyone was dumping out Sonic Adventures, which I enjoy because of their dog shit nature, but they are dog shit. The only good part about them is the Chow Garden. Okay? He's right. Look, I... Chow Garden truly carried Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Sega would make a fucking mint if they ported Chow Garden to mobile. True. True. They never will, but true. God, I remember just... I remember just feeding my chow like 40 baby gorillas and just watching it just bulk up. I'll never forget it. I'd go specifically to the jungle level or whatever and collect baby gorillas from the robots and then feed them to my chow to make him stronger and hairier. Why are you question marking? Oh, you're not a Sonic kid. Oh, that's that explains everything. You guys aren't Sonic kids, so you just you just assume what Chow Garden is? No, no, that's normal. <laughs> this is what I'm describing isn't like a bit. No, that's like one of the most normal things you could do. Gonna have to teach you one day. I don't know if I look. 
chat. I don't know if I am emotionally capable of going back to like Sonic Adventure. I just don't think I can. One, they're not very good stream games, to be honest. They're just not. I don't think they're funny, but like they, the gameplay is not good. I think it, I think it would be agonizing. Like Shadow the Hedgehog would be funny to exclusively like watch, like fast forward through someone else suffering through it instead and just listen to their, like just watch them, their body language from controlling Shadow tell the story for me. Cause I don't want to touch it again. You streamed Neopets, anything is possible. Next you'll ask me to play Neopets Darkest Fairy and I'll fucking die, dude. There's certain things I just don't want to un- I don't want to uncork certain parts of my past, you know? We're still waiting. The only reason I'd play Neopets Darkest Fairy is if truly... I needed to prove to someone because they didn't believe me when I told them that game was like the hardest, most bullshit. Not the hardest, the most bullshit PS2 game on the market. That game deliberately tries to softlock you. And I still beat it, baby. I still beat it, baby. Don't believe you. Shut up. I, 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 I uh, adopt my combat stance, as shown in the image above, uh, and I prepare for battle. Say it again, if you dare. Tomato comes across more of a spiro baby, TBH. Well, no, what I would describe myself as is a child who received a uh, definitive gaming childhood. Uh, I, my family kept me away from Nintendo products, completely. So I wasn't tainted by the Mario. I wasn't I wasn't made to be soft. Okay. My first game I ever played was was Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and then one out of curiosity at which point I was already able to critically say that the sequel was better than the original despite the fact that I enjoyed portions of both. Okay. Immediately after that they introduced me to Spyro. Ripto's Rage. We skipped the first one because the first one was bad my family knew that <laughs> my family knew so they had me skip the first one because i didn't need it because the first spyro is bad so i started at ripto's rage i 100 it and then i moved on to year of the dragon my family did not provide me with the disc even though they had it for year of the dragon until i had perfectly completed ripto's rage and demanded more <laughs> I was truly raised as a professional gamer and it paid off because I became a professional streamer. You know, my family invested in me early and it worked out for them. They had, they had, they had a vision. All right. What I'm trying to say is if you're trying to make it as a streamer or a YouTuber and you weren't truly trained from the age of two to be a gamer, give it up. Everyone can tell. Give it up. Hang up your coat. It's over. Get out. You'll never have what I have. I can never 100% a game world. Well, yeah, we're fucking mortal and we're dying. I can't, dude. I haven't 100%ed a game in years. I, I have, I have a life. I have things I have to do. We are decaying. We're decaying. And before you get completely locked into pathetic POV by today's game. Look, I'm not going to say this game gives you a lot of choices to become pathetic POV. But it's possible. It's definitely po It's not impossible. This this game's kind of a funny game. It can, it can get a little out of hand. But, you know, I'm a professional tactical master. I don't trust this guy's fingers. 
Well, I can tell you one thing you're not supposed to be able to see. Uh, I mean, it's like, I don't know. Are his hands supposed to be both facing towards his front? Because I can see his nails on his on his left hand, even though the, the perspective is all wrong. It, look, the problem is people back in the day, and this applies to every single culture, did not know how to draw. All right, we only figured out drawing in like the like the fucking 1900s. Up until then, no one fucking knew. No one knew at all. Wrong. We still don't know how to draw hands. <laughs> True. Ever seen medieval cat arts? Hang on. Medieval cat painting. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> what a lovely treasure trove we found here today! Who's... who's this? Who's this little... hang on. Who's... Who's this little guy? Hang on, I'm grabbing a full image. Look at him! <laughs> that one's lovely. <laughs> so that's... Take it to the bank! That's a cat. That's his brother. There it is. Here's uh here's one that's like more of like a this is less of a painting, more of a drawing. You sure about that? <laughs> Truly no one knew what cats were. <laughs> that's closer to a goblin than a cat. Oh, this one, hang on, so this one. This one kind of changes the whole game. I really like this one. Looks like a big potato. <laughs> it's kind of like a big potato looking thing. Isn't it? A little bit potato-like. <laughs> this one! This one is the artist's child broke into the, like, the paint zone and just started drawing. Alright, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. <laughs> one more, one more, one more. Just one, just, just, just one more. Just one more little painting. Just one more. This is a cat in water. Annoyed. Trying to keep front legs clean and dry. One more, one more, one more. <laughs> one more, one more. Just, just. Just, just, just one more little cat. Just one more. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a cat. It's a cat right there. Take it to the bank. Mm -hmm. Hang on, this one isn't even medieval anymore. This is like, hang on, one more. This one's like a little bit more modern and it seems like people just don't, just don't get cats. Cause they kind of got, here's, this one's important. Okay, cause they kind of get the dog sort of close and even the dog is like, what the fuck's going on with that cat? 
What the f- What's going on with that thing? <laughs> Joker cat. License revoked. No one does it. Just stop. Stop this. This one. Okay, I'm allowed one more. I'm going to scroll through a couple and just see. I'm going to scroll. Okay, I I see I see my favorite. My favorite is here. The one I will the last one before we move on with our lives is right here. This one this one's interesting. This is a cat in its day-to-day -day life. If it were a human. Look at the emotion on the right one's face. While it holds its rat gun. While it prepares to shoot a bystander with its rat gun. Look at how tired it looks. Well, this one does the laundry and I guess feeds a cat. And that one just sleeps sadly. Truly. This is the iconic single background this stream should have had from the start. This one really speaks to society. <laughs> I just had to scroll through the, the ones I opened before. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's... May I post one more? Just, just, just one more. This one's like, I would call this important. This one is, I would actually say mandatory viewing. This is the last one. And then I'm starting the game. I'm gonna go to the bathroom to get a pallet. I'm going to leave you with this and go to the bathroom, okay? Yeah, no, no, no. I, I'm glad we all had a chance to really look at this one because this one I would describe as the most important one. Um, hey, did you notice that it has uh, butt cheeks despite it being a cat? <laughs> hey, artist. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's how it works. Slash slash me when I see dishonor. Mm. Mm. The cat has knee It's Ew! He's got, little, he's got little fucking knee He's got kneecaps, little knees 
Ew! <laughs> Horrid beast! From the depths! Awful being! Bad cat! Bad! Alright, you guys wanna play some Shigatari? This is a roguelike. About honor and dishonor. And how much honor you bring about your your ancestral legacy by simply doing, you know, living your day-to-day -day life. Yes. Yes. How dishonorable have you been in your day-to-day -day life, chat? How much how much honor do you show those around you? Very. We'll see about that. I don't, I don't want to explain this game. I just want to show you it. <clears throat> it's pretty good. It's also like $2. I will play... Kazutoshi Dono. No. No. I will play... Motoshige-kun! I will sound like this. No, I want a deeper voice. Yeah, something, something manly. And I will play... Wanderer, who starts with 150 XP. I also have the choice to start as a... Female Wanderer who is slightly better than... Just objectively better than me. Uh... And then a lot of stuff I'd have to unlock. Yes, I will play the Wanderer. Difficulty e normal. Tutorial on. From as early as you can remember, you've always been training. Motoshige-kun, at long last your training is complete. We'll do one final defense drill, then discuss your next steps. <coughs> yes, yes, Michi Michinori Sensei. Of course. Before we proceed to the drill, let's go over the basics. Always consider your state, Motoshigekun. I'm standing here with my sword. If a sword cuts your flesh, you will be injured. Difficult to believe, I know. Fortunately, we are blessed with many body parts to soak up damage. To get get hit in the same spot twice, though, and you might be dead. Act carelessly, and you will grow tired. If you get tired enough, you will have to stop to take a breath. Your strengths must be considered when you devise a plan. A speedy samurai may be a strong brute, but lose to a perceptive guardian. The perceptive guardian in turn makes quick work of the speedy samurai. These disadvantages duels, disadvantageous duels are more difficult, but not impossible. Your active stance is of most importance. It determines what kinds of attacks you can make, among other things. Could you thrust with your sword held overhead pointing back? I think not. Each stance is also strong against another stance. It's like rock, paper, scissors. Focus to examine your state more closely. Hover the cursor over your status for more details. This is my health, my energy, yeah, all my, all my basic stuff. Your opponent's state is just as important as your own. Their health is of great concern if you want it gone. Pay close attention to what your opponent is doing. Our eyes are imperfect, though, Motoshige-kun. That's my character talking. Oh, no, that's that's him talking to me. I forgot. Only the very perceptive can tell where a blade will land. Time is of the utmost importance. Every action takes time. Counteracting is wise, but you must make sure you have enough time. If you wait too long, your opponent's blade will be inches from your face, and no defense will be effective. There are many actions you can take in a duel. Choose carefully to execute your strategy and ensure victory. Now, on to the drill. A strike to the head, parry! Okay, I choose to defend and parry. I know he's attacking me to the head because he just yelled it out loud, but if I didn't know where he was attacking me from, I could say to defend a high zone and simply encompass this entire spot if I don't want to gamble with a direct, singular defense. A perfect parry! Another strike, but hard to see. Parry high! Yes, master! I parry high! 
I stagger him again. Mystery strike, dodge. Yes, master, yes, my ma yes, my master. I weave, I dodge him. Slow strike, interrupt by striking my arms. Okay. I, I thrust and slice his arms. I will continue it. It will take 69 moments. Ah! If you get tired, wait and recover your energy. Okay, I wait uh, for a single heartbeat. Fast strike, no time to parry a dodge, so brace. Okay, I'm fine. I switched to Gadan stance, switch to Hasso to counter me. So it worked in a, hot, in a rock, paper, scissor thing. So if he switches to Gadan, strong versus Chudan, uh, which is currently my stance. So I want to switch to one that's strong against his stance, which is Hasso. Now let me hit you, trust me. What? Uh, they're, prepar they're preparing a slash towards my torso. I am going, he's faster. There's no way he's not faster than me, considering he's a speed character. I'm going to defend with a parry to my torso and not listen to my master staggered. Very good, my disciple. You saw through my trick. Now let's discuss your next steps, Motoshige-kun. You have grown strong under my tutelage. You have a great purpose. What purpose? Motoshige-kun, you are my greatest creation. It is time for you to show the world our strength. To do so, you will defeat the seven dojo masters. You do not own me. I will, I will do what I want. My strength is mine alone. Ow! Most dishonorable! Ow! My ancestors have docked me 25% favor! My, ah, ah. You will spread my glory, child! You may be young, but I can still kill you easily. Try, old man. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Ha! Your blood doesn't deserve my blade. Submit or die, child. I choose die. For you. Prepare to die, he's slashing high towards me. I will kill you first then, master. And then I will become the greatest of warriors, Perry High. He fainted me. Ah, he cut me. Ugh. Uh, he, uh, he, he just cut my guts open. Ah! Oh! All right, he's doing nothing. It's my, it's my turn. I am going to slash his head. Possible weak spot causes death on loss. Prepare to lose. He's moving high to defend. No, fainted. If he's moving high to defend, thrust low. He's sitting, I can't, fuck, I gotta, I gotta change my, chat, the problem is, currently my stance is one that can't aim low. Which is why I can't attack him on a low attack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab him. I'll thrust him. Oh! Your chest and arm aren't looking so hot, Bichinori sensei. He's thrusting mid towards me. I won't have time to block it. I have to weave. Ha! A perfect dodge by me. He's thrusting mid towards me again. I have nothing I can do, I have to wait. I'm exhausted. Well, since I won't have time to defend regardless because he's doing a thrust, which is far faster, I will brow wipe and get my energy back. I still have time and he is exhausted. If I can just dodge this move, Michinori sensei is done for. Ha! Ow! Fuck! Ow! <laughs> my fucking, my arm! All right, old man. It's unfortunate it came to this, but it's the end of the line. Die. Now. Ha! Oh! He parried it! He's thrusting mid towards me! I, I had to switch my stance. I have to switch my stance. Because right now we're both in the same one. That's why I have, he's, he's owning me. He's owning me bad. And right now we're both in Chudan. 
I'm gonna switch to Gadon. And then I still have time to wait. Just brow wipe. Ah! Oh, he's only been striking parts of my body that... <laughs> Chad, he's been striking a different part every time so I don't die. He's embarrassing me. <laughs> he just keeps stabbing all the parts of me. Worst brow wipe in existence. He's exhausted and almost dead and has minus two energy. I am simply going to cleave him in twine right now with a thrust, okay? And he can't fucking block this move. I'm gonna cut at his old legs. Hasha! Yeah, that's right. You're not looking so hot anymore, Sensei. He's thrusting mid towards me. I need to catch my breath. And I have to I have to defend this somehow. He's thrusting. We have to dodge. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Sensei, we can do this all day. He's slashing mid towards me. To slash. Defend with a parry mid. He fainted! Ah! <laughs> he just keeps winning! He's so much better! He's doing nothing! It's time! Cut his leg off! Oh! Your leg's crippled, old man! Oh! 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 All I gotta do is hit him once in the chest for over 46 damage and he dies. He's an old man missing one leg. <laughs> it should be simple. Die, old man. So! A victory for me. I cut him in half. And now I'm looting his armor. Seven folds. His katana was only seven folds, a product of laziness. Wait a minute. Was this? Hang on. Mine's eight folds. Hang on. Wait a minute. Was this guy full of shit? I'm taking his katana. Basic armor suitable for any warrior. That's cool. I've got the same armor and ten dollars. See you later. I waited too long to do this. I've been prepared for this very moment. I can improve my abilities as I grow more experienced. Yes. I want to be faster. I want to be faster. I want to be as fast as possible. I want to be quick so I can aim for people's arms and just cripple them before they can attack me. Weapons, armor, and sushi will help me in my quest. Yes. Conditions. All right, so right now I have minus one. I, I have one dishonor. I have been- I have been very dishonorable, unfortunately. But, you know, I can bring it back over time. Michinori-sensei inscribed his teachings onto this scroll. Okay, well then I had no need for him. Survival! Camp, take a day off your heart hurt. Waterfalls cure many afflictions. Avoid fighting mysterious foes. <clears throat> okay. Should I bring dishonor on my ancestors? The solution is simple. I will commit seppuku. To restore my honor. My journey begins. Chet, our mission is to slay the great samurai masters of the seven provinces. Easy. We'll start in Tokuma, a rich expanse of forests. Uh, actually, no. We're gonna start. We're gonna start in uh, Marusu. Do Marusu. At a waterfall. Oniwaki Waterfall. A great and beautiful waterfall. Well, I'm injured. I have not healed from my last thing. I think I have to camp. I'm going to rest and relax for the day. After a short rest, you feel more healthy. Very good. My duty lies ahead. Okay, so now we have the option between a beach, a forest, a forest, or a mountain. I guess I'm gonna go to this forest. Easy peasy. 
You rise, you mean forest, a forest brimming with evil energies. I don't feel safe here. What will you do? Enter the forest. I fear nothing. As you walk through the forest, you hear laughing in the distance. Continue. You feel a strong sense of dread. Oh! A demon! It's a demon! He's got a fucking window washer in his hand! Oh my god! Urgh, a foolish human enters my forest! What do you think will happen next? The human will apologize and leave. The human will gain... The demon will gain a new disciple. Die. <laughs> Die. And then I kill him. And that is my decision I make. Die. Now. I'll become a demon disciple. I've already been dishonorable. Ooh, a good idea. Kneel before me, slave. Kneel, don't kneel, or die. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll kneel. You kneel subserviently before the demon. I will give you my boon. The demon places his hand on your head. With it, you will be my champion. I become demon touched. Allows you to harvest the hearts of the innocent. It's as simple as that, baby. Arise. Return to me the hearts of the innocent. Diligence will be greatly rewarded. Incompetence will be punished. Thank you, master. I will not follow you. Die. <laughs> now die. <laughs> now I unsheath my sword. Die. Thank you, master. After a short bow, the demon vanishes. It's okay, chat. We're never going to see him again. I have felt true evil today. My duty lies ahead. That actually gave me a boost to my prudence. Uh, I'm I'm more prudent now. I guess I'll go to this village. Shirome Village, festive village. Greetings, traveler. Makoto, the old man. Have you come to celebrate with us? Celebrate what? Yes, no, or die. I choose die. Help! Help! Help, please! Please, someone help! Shut up, old man! Shut up! A helpless opponent defeated. I'll be taking your heart. Now. Wasteful peasant. Such villages remind me of home. A tear falls from my eye. Death calls. <laughs> Anyways, death calls. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I just need to be faster and faster. There's a person on the road there, and I'd like to avoid people. So I'm gonna go to a trade post. Look, I don't- I wanna be punching down, not up, you know? Minato trade post. Lonely shop. You took long enough. I trusted Tomo, he said to find someone experienced. It seems my trust was misplaced. Are you ready to go? Huh? What are we doing? Die. <laughs> I don't know who you are, die. Yeah, sure. After a short walk, you've arrived at the shop proper. Goods, goods, and more goods. Shut your face, hole! Oh! We'll be taking your goods. Oh, we're stealing from this guy. I think this lady was a bandit. All right, I'm in. No, not my goods! I happen to know you have a chest of coins as well. Give me the key and my friend will kill you slowly. No, I won't. <laughs> Nah, uh wrong. <laughs> wrong. I choose die. <laughs> Sorry, goods merchant, but I chose die. He has a weapon. He's thrusting mid towards me. No, don't do my attack. Defend. No, dodge mid. Dodge mid now. Ha! Insolent fool. To think you would dare- He's using a different stance than me. I gotta switch stances. Right now, he's using Gadan. Strong versus Chudan, which is mine. I wanna switch to Hasso. He's thrusting mid towards me again. D 
dodge a second time. Ha! How many times are we gonna do this? How's my energy? One of seven, what's his? Two of six. I'm waiting since he's waiting, I'm gonna catch a bunch of energy back. Four of seven, one of six. Oh, he's fucked if I dodge this. Dodge, weave it. Ha! Oh. Oh, it's over now, goods merchant. Nowhere left to dodge. Prepare yourself. <laughs> He's thrusting mid towards me. I decided to take the hit because I was we're going to keep trading forever unless I get a strike on him. And now I've gotten a strike on him. And now I can just thrust and remove his head from his body. He's doing nothing. There's nothing he can do. He's already dead. He just doesn't know it yet. Ow. He still stabbed me, though. <laughs> Ow. Thanks for the stuff, idiot. <laughs> $45. A net. The best. Broken katana. Don't need it. A painting. Mine. A Juichi katana. 11 folds. Nearing perfection. I equip the Juichi katana. I also eat this sushi. Because I'm injured. I'm also gonna take this worn katana because I still have the inventory space. Cretan. <laughs> My guy's a psycho. What the hell is your problem? Without the key, we can't open the chest. So many coins locked forever away. Die. <laughs> Die. Again, I'm going to die. By the way, I uh, my chest is extremely injured. I am going to die. Hang on, I gotta check my stance. Right now, they're in Hasso. Which means I want to switch to Waki. They're slashing mid towards me. Well, I'm a speed build. They're slashing mid towards me. I should. Oh, this is only. This is a built. This is a position that can only slash. Uh, okay. I'm gonna dodge. I'm gonna weave. Ow! Where'd he hit me? My arm. Ow! All right, lady. If that's all you want to play this game, then fine. Your leg is mine. Mine's gonna take less time than yours. Ha! And then I still have time to defend. I'm gonna take my chances dodging again. Owie. Okay, Chet. It's not good, but in a second, this person's leg is gonna be gone and they're not doing anything. Their leg is crippled. I'm going to wait, catch my breath, and then defend. Fuck, I gotta parry. But I think they're gonna beat me to the parry. I think I have to hope that I dodge. Disengage. We should have been disengaging, not weaving. Our speed is better than our perception. Disengage. My arm! They cut off my fucking arm! Energy to dodge. The slashing mid towards me. I have to dodge it. I have to dodge it. Ugh. She's aiming for my fucking arms, dude. <sighs> She's thrusting mid towards me. I cannot believe I haven't dodged a single attack, dude. Do I bank on me hitting her before she hits me somehow? Three. 
Congratulations! Motoshige-kun joins your ancestors. Your death was granted by a lowly bandit. Few living will remember you. I killed three people, one of them was helpless. Uh... I lost 28 of my ancestor favor due to my dishonor. Well... Off I go. Ronin lit. <laughs> Shut up, it was my first time and it was a tutorial! Okay? We're only going to get more powerful. My name will be. <laughs> My name is going to be Shuntaro san. From as early as you can remember, you've always been training. Shuntaro san, you've grown strong under my tutelage. You have a great purpose, I know. Oh? And what is that purpose, child? Death. What? Death is no purpose, child. It is a perfectly suitable side effect of a true goal, however. You will prove your R strength by killing the seven dojo masters. No, death is my purpose. Idiot, how many times do I have to tell you? Death requires purpose. Death requires <laughs> your purpose is done. Holy shit, a moly, dude. What the fuck did this, holy shit. Whoa, man! <laughs> Fucking Shadow the Hedgehog level shit, dude! Death requires nothing. Let me show you. Oh my god, I'm attacking him again. We're going after this guy again. I didn't think that would initiate the fight. Michinori is slashing high towards you. What's his position? He's currently at Chudan. I want to switch to Gadan. He's slashing high towards me. Now I'm going to defend. I'm balanced. So I'm going to take the parry high. I failed it. Okay, well, he's thrusting high towards me again. I'm gonna go with dodging. Eh. He's still slashing at me, this guy. For an old man, he's got a lot of energy. Uh, I'm gonna parry him. I don't know where he's attacking from. I'm just. This has not been my best, uh, best run so far. Uh, this one, this one's not feeling great. But I'm still alive, asshole. And you know who isn't going to be alive much longer? You. Once I cleave your chest and twine. Ow! Oh, one more hit and he would have been done, dude. I gotta get stronger. I gotta get my energy back. He's thrusting. He's thrusting high towards me. Just dodge him. Ow! <laughs> He's just cutting my arms off. Insolent old fool! Die! He staggered me. Uh, uh, I stumble backwards. Uh, I catch my breath. Uh, I dodge him. I try to disengage. Uh, uh. That was, uh... That was not great. He cut us in twain. Look, chat, that was... <laughs> I don't even remember that guy. We're gonna, pay, we're gonna play teriyaki. Or teruaki. We're gonna play Junpei Dono, okay? Your village was just destroyed by samurai loyal to the emperor. Junpei Dono! I'm glad you made it out alive! You even recovered the elder's sword and armor! What are you plan- what are you gonna do? They killed all of our people, our entire village is dead! Are you gonna retaliate? No, I will not seek revenge. What? Why? I... am not that strong. Junpei Dono, I believe in you! You will find the strength! You are annoying. Words have no value. You are right! The importance of this cannot be expressed with words. Seizo-san assumes an otherworldly gaze. Wait, no, that's a narrator. Avenge our village, Junpei Dono. Defeat the seven dojo masters to earn an imperial audience. Seizo-san reveals a knife and plunges it into their belly. End their suffering. Do I get a kill for it? Why did you stab yourself? I'm confused, Seizo. No! Yeah, I'll kill him. 
Caesar-san. After everything we've been through. Actually, it looks like here you didn't take any damage. Drop that knife! Now! Put that knife down! I aim for their arm to make them drop the knife! Ah, fuck! They caught it in their other hand! They're trying to stab themselves again! Ah! Don't worry, I got you! What? Ah! I cut their arms off. Well, it's a wooden sword. I don't really want that. One defense, one speed. This one's two defense, two speed. Yeah, I'll be equipping that one. Thanks. <laughs> or I'll be taking that. Shizo san. The seven dojo masters wait. We'll go to Shimon. A merchant. Immediately, huh? Murata Trade Post Sushi Market. Come and try my fish. It's very, very fresh, I can assure you. Not one person has ever painfully died after eating it. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. Would you like some sushi? Yeah, I'll take some. Haha, -ha, excellent. You won't regret it. Yeah, I mean, I will, one, sell you my garbage. Here you go. And I would like to buy... Some Hirami Sushi for speed. Thank you. Thank you for your business. His sushi actually looks pretty good. The smell of a fish market bothers some, but not me. My duty lies ahead. Uh, looks like a clear... Looks like clear land. We're gonna go to this temple. Oritate Temple, a place of righteous worship. You hear chanting in the distance. Death! 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 The brothers of Oritate Temple have spoken. Will you salvage your honor? Appro approach them. Passing underneath an archway, you see a group of warrior monks. <sighs> yes, will you be my second? Of course. The men suddenly notice your presence. Samurai, you are intruding. Please leave. What's going on here? Mm, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. This man, Rikaya, has forsaken his duties. As you know, a man without duty is a dead man. What did they do specifically? We sent this man to purchase armor for our order. When they returned more than a month later, they confessed that they had lost the money. Do you not agree that this man should perform seppuku? As you know, a man without duty is a dead man. I do not agree. Those without duty can still be redeemed. It is not right to kill someone just because they made a mistake. You are no samurai. Go back to the road, bandit. Even if you have a good heart, what you say is offensive. Then die. If you're going to end your own life, at least allow me to do it for you and get 15 XP. I attack with a, with a slash to the face. Yahiro is moving to dodge. Then I will stop my attack and change my stance because right now this person's in a fucking... Gedan stance, I switch to Hasso. Since he did nothing but dodge his whole turn, he'll be even more tired now. And if you're feeling so compelled to dodge, allow me to help you. He's moving low to defend. Psych, it was a second faint. I'm actually slashing your face off. Stab. Ho! You just got quadruple galaxy brain, you stupid idiot. You stupid fucking moron. And now I will finish the job. He's moving to dodge. Okay, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. I'm actually gonna catch my breath right now. All right, now I'm gonna attack with a slash to the face again. Hiya. A dodge! Bold little bastard. One more stab is all it should take to kill you. Ha! Damn, you're pretty good at dodging. You're a big guy, though. It's surprising. Uh, ha, ha, ha. How are you? He's thrusting mid towards me. I dodge. I dodge him. I can do it back, asshole. I wait. I wipe my brow. He's slashing low towards me. With a slash? Are you so sure? 
I stab him in the head. And then... I need to catch my- It's so wild that you kill them and they don't instantly die. They still get to finish their next move. So that guy still got a hit on my leg, unfortunately. Well, I'll be taking your fine armor. Which is certainly better than my simple armor. Nine folds. A nine fold katana. And eight dollars. A monk from the crowd approaches to fight you. Orotate, guide my blade! Am I killing every single monk? <laughs> I was expecting this to be like a maybe one or two people fight. I sure hope it's not the whole crowd is like, oh my God. Oh my God. All right, well, he's thrusting low towards me. I'm not gonna be able to, I gotta dodge. My leg! Oh, my leg! <sighs> oh my God, he crippled my leg. I can't dodge anymore. Ah, uh, he's threat. Harry, Harry mid. Ow! He just keeps stabbing. <laughs> Perry, Perry mid again. He's probably aiming for my torso. Uh. He's been aiming for my arms. He's thrusting mid towards me. He's gotta be aiming for my torso. It was a feint. My leg, my other leg. <laughs> he slashed my other leg. You. Little rascal! Then I'll take your arm! Huh! I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> I didn't hear no... I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> He's sl This guy's bodying me, dude. My defense is so bad. Par I got a parry, I got a parry mid. Ow! <laughs> Feeling tired yet, jackass? Your arm is mine! He parried it again perfectly. Why? How come my parries never work? This guy gets a parry up every time. Where's Where's my parries? Wow, my speed is, uh... My, my speed has not been great. Ow! Yeah, there's no way. He's so much faster than me. This guy's incredibly fast. The timer, the timer is just not on my side, unfortunately. Hang on, don't, don't do that. We're going to, we're going to wait, get our energy back. He's slashing mid towards me. He'll take a, I have 105 to react. According to the game's logic, I parry that. Yes, I'm getting better. I'm figuring it out. He's doing nothing. Which means I should get a free slash right now at his arm. He parried me to the mid. He's got a fucking fast parry, dude. Holy shit. He's slashing mid towards me again at 96. I won't be fast enough unless I just... He's probably going to faint it. You know he's going to fucking faint it. Ow. I'm gonna fucking die, dude. This guy's the greatest warrior of the of the ages. I can't unless I stop his slash. Uh, ow! <laughs> my arm! My arm and my leg! My arm and my leg! <sighs> no dodging. Just brace. <laughs> It was a warrior monk, to be fair. He was a trained warrior. Okay? This was a trained warrior we're talking about here, chat. This was not... This wasn't some bandit on the road. This was a trained warrior. Besides, we weren't playing the main character. Hiroshige. We weren't playing the main character. I've always been training. You've grown strong under my tutelage. You have great purpose, I know. Oh, what is your purpose? To prove myself. Yes, of course, and by doing so, you'll prove that I am the greatest teacher. Kill the seven dojo masters. You are our legacy. Remember my teachings. It'll bring great glory to both of us. Farewell and good luck. Goodbye. My journey begins. We're gonna go to Adano. I think instead. We're just gonna hang out in Odano. This time. This is truly pathetic, POV. Shut up! Toya Temple, a sacred site. Upon entering the shrine, you're approached by an old monk. 
greeting, Samurai. Have you come to give an offering to Toya? Or have you come seeking my wisdom? Die. I've come seeking your money, old man. Slash his head in half. His neck is his weak spot. Toya does not deserve devotion. Oh my god. I need to be faster. Fa speed is all that matters. I feel at peace. My duty lies ahead. Let's go to this farm. They seem like people I can punch down at. Kazuno Farm, a farm within a beautiful valley. You think? You think I would sell to some bottom feeder like you? I am an honest merchant. Ha! Huh. There's no such thing. Get off my property, scum. Please, I'm desperate. I'm gonna side with the farmer. You've forgotten your station, dog. Do not speak back to your superiors. The merchant seems fearful. My, my apologies. Thank you for getting rid of that vermin. Die. No, please! <laughs> Thank you. Now die. Now. Ha! 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 The strong must conquer the weak. <laughs> oh, yeah? There are disputes everywhere I go. My duty lies ahead. Let's go to the city. <laughs> Mara City. This city is famous for its geisha. I'm told there is a geisha house on every street. Up ahead, you see a geisha house. It looks like the rumors are true. What's a geisha house? Is that, is that, is that, uh... Is that a, is that a brothel or something? Is that, is that women of the night? You know if I go in there, I'm going to kill them. <laughs> you know, you, you know the, the track record of my character. LMAO, he said. I go in. Greetings, honorable samurai. You were very wise to choose our house. It seems you don't have enough money for our services. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll just choose die normal. We're gonna go with the normal die this time. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna go with the normal die. This is a normal die. Now die. Now die by my hands. Slash. Ha. Wait, she has a weapon. She has a weapon. Abort, 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 abort. Stand switch. Wait, I'm already strong against your stance. What is this lady, some kind of fool? I'm going to slash at her shoulder, which will be much faster than her attack. Damn, I still have time to do another one. That's pretty fucked up, dude. I'm way faster than this lady. Well, she's slashing high towards me. I'm going to dodge based on my speed. Although, disengage takes so much fucking energy. Just weave. Ha! Your opponent is waiting. I know, I'd wait too. I'm gonna catch my breath back as well. Wow, she is slow as fucking molasses, man. Ha! Oh! She's already dead. <laughs> Although... She's still gonna get a hit in, and I wouldn't be able to dodge it, so I had to block. Well, I'll be taking her sake, which heals me and gives me XP. Thank you very much. I'll also be taking her ninefold katana now. Okay. And the armor that they were wearing. It's mine now. All of it is mine. Those with no honor do not deserve to live. Traveling through a city has, is its own reward. My duty lies ahead. <laughs> Off I go. <laughs> Anyways. 
Hrutor and I bridge, what an imposing structure. As you approach the bridge, you notice two people standing near the edge holding hands. Hmm, looks like some kind of suicide pact. There's a small fishing boat docked nearby. Hop in the boat and row underneath them. The boat contains a thick tangled fishing net which may be enough to cushion the fall. A few minutes of rowing later, you're underneath the couple. They don't appear to have noticed you. Hmm, there's only space in this boat for one more. Mm. <laughs> I could, it's not fair to pick one of them. You know, this is a trolley problem. We got a lot of practice. And now, objectively the best choice is to save neither. The lovers shall share a final embrace for jumping in unison. How beautiful. I fear inspired. I feel in, write a poem. I'm going, all right, so I'm sitting here over the dot, like the drowning dead, like these two are dead floating in the water above this bridge. And I'm sitting in a fishing boat that I was going to use to save them, but I couldn't save both of them. So I chose to save neither of them. So now I'm going to write a poem. So I pull out my poem book and I start writing. We bitter cricket. Oh, it, oh, oh, I see. So I can technically insert my own or I can just, it just spits out one. I kind of like the sp it just spitting out one. We bitter cricket crying all this sunny day. Where is he laughing? Put that on their goddamn gravestone. <laughs> Psycho! Fucking psycho! This is one of my best works, I'm sure of it. Well, I wasn't expecting to see something like that today. My duty lies ahead. Off he goes. I continue on to the temple. LMAO, said the cricket. Kamitatsuda Temple, a place of righteous worship. You hear a chanting in the distance. Oh, it's the death people. The brothers of Kami. Tots of the temple have spoken. Will you salvage your arm, your honor? How's my health doing? I'm injured, dude. I'm just gonna rest today. I don't fucking care. I'm not gonna get involved. I got st I got murdered by those people last time. Death calls. <laughs> death calls. <laughs> Level up my speed again. Let's go to this village. They seem harmless. Yoshimo Village, a cozy village. We are not like those damn mountain monks. We're loyal to Lord Odano. I know, but this is the law. All swords are to be turned over to Lord Odano. I've been on a roll with this so far. I choose die. And I kill the government official. <laughs> I walk up behind him and I uh, slice his throat open. Die. He's slashing high towards me. I'm faster. Oh! Oh my god, the one shot! I mean, he's still gonna get a hit in, but the one shot, dude! Wow. Well, 15% speed boost on that one. Bro. Faster. Faster. I hate bureaucrats. Thank you, Samurai. Their death is unfortunate, but it means our village will be safe. Die. No, please! <laughs> that is all well and good. But die. Now. Oh! <laughs> Nothing. The weak crumble before the strong. Such villages remind me of home. A tear starts falling from my eye. <laughs> I suck it back up. Oh, you get buffs by upgrading the stances as well. This game slaps, dude. So which one of these is speed one? I guess all of them have some form of speed. Well, right now I just want to pump speed. Death calls. <laughs> How's my brazenness? Oh, I'm brazen. 
Oh, no one's more brazen than me. All right. I'm going up to another temple. Toya Temple. Hang on, can I... Do I have any sushi? My head was injured. I don't really feel comfortable having my head injured. A serene sanctuary. Only 30 minutes. Most dishonorable. Approach the voices. A truly noble samurai would pray for at least 90 minutes. Do not judge. You do not know my circumstances. Uh... Die. I choose die on you. I attack with a slash to your head. He's slashing high towards me. I'm far faster than you, Satoko. Hasha! Damn, it's just, I'm just slow enough still that I can't get Ah, oh, I'm only one short. Yeah, I'm gonna take a hit. Brace is the best one to do if you don't have a choice, so... Yeah. Well, easy. Defense plus 2%. What am I wearing? No, I'll keep wearing what I'm wearing. But I am gonna get rid of this wooden thing and grab stuff that sells... A sanctimo the sanctimonious deserve death. Holy shit, dude. Psycho. Like, truly psycho hour with this guy. What have you done? They were rude, certainly, but they did not deserve death. <clears throat> Die. I am officially brazen. <laughs> it's undeniable now my brazenness I'm actually going to do the smart thing I'm going to do thrusts which are much faster and therefore I'll have a lot of energy still to do my thing ha he's slashing high towards me he's relatively fast but I think I'll still have time to block this ha -pa! dodge it with a See, I don't know what the point of disengaging is if it uses the exact same... If it uses more energy and doesn't use any more time or it doesn't save me any time. I'm not really sure what the difference is. Higher chance of success? From what I've gathered, it's pretty much guaranteed. Like, if you have the time, it does it. Depends. Chat, I can read what it says. I can see the writing. But my speed is five times as high as my perception. Okay, I can read the letters on the screen. <laughs> I can read the letters. We'll see, maybe if I take a hit here, it's not guaranteed. Well. He's slashing towards me. I will definitely be hitting him. He's dead. Unfortunate. For you. Ha 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 I'm not evil. Two worms crushed. What a productive day. Extremely brazen. The shrine was calming, despite the dispute. Death calls. <laughs> My guy is definitely evil. Anyways, let's go to Hannah Mountain. Hannah Mountain, a place you have been. You hear a distinctive sound of a hammer striking hot metal. Approach the old man. I'm sorry, but you are unworthy to wield a Motoshige sword. Is that so? We'll see about that. Natsuko draws her sword. You've brought this upon yourself, child. Oh, hello there. Uh... Do an old man a favor and clean this up for me. Die. I'm sorry to do this, but you've brought it upon yourself. I'm better than you, dude. No doubt. No doubt. Check this one out. Slash head. <laughs> legendary figure? That was a legendary warrior. I didn't stand a chance.
I got overkilled. Well, hey, now I can get myself an ancestor guardian. Choose to ignore pe chance to ignore parries. Enemies are slowed by five percent. You gain. Well, here's the thing. All of these are 10% chances, whereas this one is a guaranteed 100% application all the time, no matter what. So this is objectively the best one in the entire game because it always happens, no matter what. Best one. I don't like percentage chances to do something. I like it when it's a guarantee and always hits. Your Lord was unfairly implicated in a political scandal. Akitsuko Dono. You are my most loyal follower, which is why I want you to be my second. I refuse. I will not assist in unjust tragedy. I'm sad to hear that, Akitsuku Dono. Why do you think my death is unjust? I don't know, but I will never condone your death, my lord. I, uh, that ma makes sense, man. If it's too painful to witness my death, then I will not force you. You are a ronin now, Akitsuko Dono. There is nothing left for you here. Wander the earth and seek glory. I've always wished for you to defeat the seven dojo masters. Farewell and good luck. I will defeat the seven dojo masters in your name, Takeo-sama. Starting with Takega County. Ronin mode. Missed out on easy XP. I, dude, I'm not doing die round, okay? We're gonna play a perceptive, thoughtful man. Okay? Nanai Temple, a sacred site. Upon entering the shrine, you're approached by an old monk. Greetings, Samurai. Have you come to bring an offering to Nanai? Uh... I'd like wisdom. Ah, very wise. What would you like to know? How do I achieve greatness? You will only ever be as great as your sword. Seek the Motoshige smiths in the mountains. God damn it, that was actually a master swordsman. Farewell, samurai. Remember that uh, to always honor your ancestors. I feel at peace. My duty lies ahead. I'll go to this farm and kill someone. Yeah. Akasi Farm, a secluded community. Greetings, samurai. Would you mind helping me? What do you need? This community is rumored to be a cock to be a Kakure Kirishitan Haven. What is that? You haven't heard of them? They're a treacherous cult worshiping the Gaijin Kami Isu. So what will you do with them? All Kakure Kirishitans are to be exiled or killed. Personally, I always kill them. Yeah, I'm in. Excellent, follow me, let's do it. Let's kill some cultists. Kakure Kirishitan scum! Huh? I don't know what's happening. Is that so? We'll see about that. Mara Musa reveals a stone carving of a man on a cross. Mara Musa places the carving on the ground. Will you step on it? Taichi seems hesitant. My shoes are very dirty, sir. I wouldn't want to ruin your artwork. That is considerate of him. Don't you, you don't think they are Kakure Kirishitan? No, I think they're just some guy. Hmm. Very well, I trust your instincts. That is wise. Have you... I've heard there are Kakure Kirishitans in Hachigo. Oh, that's what the guy said. Excellent, I'm heading to Hachigo then. Farewell. Thank you, kind samurai. <laughs> I can't. This is a no-kill. This is a no-die run. Next character, when this one dies, look, every other run will be a die run, okay? I think that's fair. Every other run is a die run. This is a no die run. We're not doing die. Die is, it's too easy. You're welcome. Please take this. I should have killed that guy. Farewell. He gave me his bad beans. Hey, Dorora, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. That's really fucking kind of you, dude. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that was uncalled for in that scenario. I just like, <laughs> just felt like making the sound. It's a fun, everyone make that sound at least once a day. It makes you feel better. It does. <laughs> it's fun.
Kichisaki Trade Post. I've heard the merchants here are really busy. A merchant approaches you. Hello there, are you interested in any of my wares? Sure. Just take the beans. He's gonna sell them back to me for a fucking dollar? Fuck you. I, don't, I can't even buy anything. I take any opportunity to improve my equipment. My duty lies ahead. Worst fucking node of this game's exploration in my life. Okay, a city, an active city. You overhear a couple passing by. Masakage, you can't keep doing this. I know, I know. Next time I'll be lucky though, you'll see. No, Maka Masakage, you need to stop gam gambling our money away. Excuse me, where can I go to gamble? Hmm? Oh, it's up ahead. See, Samurai gamble all the time. Even when I lose, I still make powerful friends. Up ahead, you see a shady looking establishment. Should I go in? I'd like to gam, I'd like to gamble. Upon entering, you see a dealer sitting on a floor in a mat. Sitting in a mat, on a mat, on the floor. Greetings, friend. Would you like to play Chohan? You only need four coins to bet. After I lose. How do I play? You don't know how to play Chohan? It's very simple. I place a two six-sided dice in a cup. After shaking the cup, you bet on whether the sum of the die is even or odd. Would you like to play Chohan? We only play... Okay, sure. Let's begin. You slam four coins down, two dice are placed in a cup. After the cup is thoroughly shaken, it is placed face down. Cho, even, die. If I lose this one, I kill him on the next round. Cho. The cup is lifted, revealing a five and a three. You're very lucky, friend. You're handed eight coins. I'll play again. It's Han. I'm so fucking good. Another eight coins. Would you like to play again? Yes. Four coins down. It's, uh, look chat, either I win or they die. One or the other. You will regret this, she just said to me. Oh, I'm gonna regret this? I'm going to regret this? <laughs> You're going to regret this. Wait, I need to change my stance. Right now they're in Chudan. I need to change to Judon. I don't have time right now though. I need to change to Gadon, but I don't have time. All right, we're gonna defend with a parry mid. I should be better at parrying than I was. She fainted! Ah! Ow! Ow! She's slashing high towards me. Change my stance, we have to change it now. Gadon. Defend, dodge, weave. Ha! -ha! She's slashing high towards me again. Defend, dodge. Fuck, I still have more time to like do something else though. I have time to do a brow wipe and then still dodge and they'll be exhausted at the end of it. That is how we get them. Hasha! Uh, a foolish turn of yours, lady. It's time to end your life. You're doing nothing, I see, because you have no choice. Nor will you have time to dodge this attack. Ha! She's doing a thrust suddenly really fast and I have no way to dodge it in time. I'm gonna brace. Ow. She's not doing anything. I'm going to wait a breath. She's still not doing anything. I'm going to catch more of my breath. She's doing a slash towards me. Hi. Do I have time to do a thrust? Interrupts less. Interrupts less that half complete strikes. Less than half complete strikes? Okay, I won't have that won't that won't work then. Uh, I'm going to defend with a dodge. I'm going to weave. No, I have time to catch more breath before I do this. I'm going to brow wipe. Now I'm going to dodge. The weave. Get dodged on. How much energy does this fucking person have? They are exhausted. How are they still doing this? I'm tired. Man, lady, you cannot be able to do this for much. She's officially exhausted. If I just dodge this, they're done. Dodge it. They're doing nothing. 
It's my turn. I'm crippling their arm. Kills them. Oh! I should have done a thrust because they're much fat. They're just fast enough. Okay, brace it. I'm still alive, sire. I'm still alive. I wipe my brow. A hundred and twelve. Oh, they're getting slow now. They're finally slowing down. Still won't have enough time. I don't think. How's my energy? I'm gonna wait. Get two energy back. Then we're gonna dodge. It feels like dodging is a guarantee. It feels like everything's guarantee if you have the energy to do it. It doesn't seem like it's like a chance thing, which is why I'm very confused about the purpose of disengage, considering it uses more energy. Maybe you just have more energy when you're faster, so it doesn't matter. All right, Saya. I hate to break it to you. Oh, she's doing a high thrust. I mean, I have, I truly have time to do a thrust and then dodge this. No, I don't. Well, here's the thing. If I attack with a full power attack, there's a chance I hit their arm and just break them instantly. I'm gonna go for it. Ha! Damn it! I was hoping I would kill. If I hit them all the way down another five, they would have died. Uh, uh, uh. End of the line, sire. Kill! Your XP now, if you'd be so kind. And your money. Their money is better off in my hands. Traveling through the city is its own reward. The next challenge awaits. Easy. That was the right thing to do. How's this armor versus the other armor? More defense, less speed. Now we'll stick with what we got. We're gonna go to the waterfall. I think I need to take a rest. I've stumbled upon something wonderful. There seems to be a dark opening beyond the waterfall. I'm gonna explore behind the waterfall, I have to. After carefully na navigating the slippery rocks leading behind the waterfall, you find yourself in darkness. I can't see anything. Feel my way around. There must be something in here. You press forward into the darkness. It seems the cave was very shallow. At your feet, you feel a box. Open the box. You find a random assortment of things. Perhaps this is someone's long forgotten stash. Incredible armor. Unbelievable sushi. Insane katana. And then like bad armor I can sell. Holy shit. I don't think I will find anything else in here. I've had enough for one day. That was enjoyable. I'm ready to leave. How courageous have I gotten? Very courageous. I think I need to... If I can't get a rest suit... Can you eat sushi during a fight in this game? I feel like you can. Because it says stuff about like reducing fatigue. I feel like you can. Because I want to eat it during the fight to heal. Because it also gives like other buffs. Nishiwaki Farm. Another smelly rice paddy. Hear a heated argument up ahead. You failed in your duty, peasant. I have not. By my estimates, you're 14 bushels short. Our Lord Takega does not tolerate incompetence. Your estimate is simply incorrect. Side with the farmer. I hate taxes. Leave the poor farmer alone. They seem like an honest type. I am. As I said, my family will starve if I give you what you ask. They must be very loyal to even consider risking their family's lives. No one asked your opinion, dog. It is short-sighted to tax your supporters to the grave. You know nothing! I will return tomorrow with a, with a Takika samurai. Do not disappoint me again. I said, leave the farmer alone. Ha! Does this bandit think he can threaten me? Looting a sword from a corpse does not make you a samurai. Tax collector fight. I eat my sushi to 
heal my body and become faster. Finally, the final boss. Finally. We finally found him. Hang on, how much does it take to, to stab this guy? 61? Okay, we have time to stance swap right now. Really seems like it's always good to like level up Gadon. Okay. Dodge, weave, hasha. Man, already looking a little tired, huh? Yeah, well, I'll wait too. He's thrusting high towards me. Defend with another dodge. We're gonna let him tire himself out, and then we're gonna cut his head off. Okay, that's how that's how we play now. We watch and wait. And then once he's tired himself out, we remove his head from his body. Hasha! Oh, looks like it's happening. Wait one more cycle of two. While this guy wait Ah, oh, there it is. Defend one more time with another dodge. Hasha! And now, with my immense energy reserves. With my immense energy reserves. I slice this man's uh oh, chest? Yeah. Oh my god! That was a lot of damage! Die. I'll be taking all of your taxes. Tax collectors do not deserve their station. Thank you, Samurai. You've saved my family from a terrible fate. Please take this gift. That's a live turtle. He gave me a turtle. Sugoi Kawaii. Thanks. I'll be glad to get out of this stench, my character says as he picks up the turtle. My services are needed elsewhere. I'm a good boy. But my XP is low. I need to kill more people. There's someone blocking the path there, and I'm kind of scared of that. I'm going to go to this forest. Takahara Forest, the Whispering Woods. The sound of wood chopping emanates from a clearing before you enter the grove. The clearing contains a single large tree wrapped with an ornamental rope. The exhausted man hacking away from the tree has not noticed you. Sneak up on him. You stealthily approach the man with ease. <laughs> Hello? Whoa! Oh, you scared me. Please help me fall this tree, I'll pay. No. Labor is beneath my station. Yes, of course. Uh, what can I do for you? What are you doing? This tree is home to the wood spirit, Naka Okofi. My family has prayed to them for hundreds of years. Despite this, we became gravely ill last year. My children did not survive. S Good. <laughs> Good. They didn't deserve to survive. <laughs> the heel turn, dude. The heel turn to end all heel turns. Good. What? It pleases me that your children are dead. You're, you wretched peasants deserve every pain and worse. The turtle in my backpack is decoloning right now. How could you say such a thing? Most dishonorable. My ancestor favor has, has dove. Leave me? Why don't you join your children? The heel turn. In hell! Ha! Sha! Ha! Ho! Ha! He! Ha! Who! Ha! Sha! Ha! Are you proud? Honestly, yeah. What a meager attempt. Thank you, samurai. You see, I was saving the fucking spirit, chat. I was saving the spirit. I was saving the spirit, dude. You guys don't have any connection to the cosmic world. You don't understand. I was saving the spirit. You feel lucky. That's fucking right. Falling a sacred tree is most dishonorable. The next challenge awaits. 
Perception up. We'll go to another waterfall. Actually, I think this. I think the temple's farther behind, so I can go to it first. Yakizaki Temple, a melodious shrine. Near shrine, a samurai approaches you. It is worth the money. She's the best Miko I have ever seen. Okay, I don't know what that means. Hang on, how hurt am I? I'm okay. Okay. Upon entering the shrine, you're greeted by a refined woman. Welcome, samurai. Would you like to see my dance? Sure. Excellent. The woman gestures to a sign. Ten coin donation required. Dance or die. <laughs> Give ten coins. The woman bows in appreciation. The woman makes a signal and music starts to play. Her dance is exceedingly graceful and elegant. You feel inspired. That's another 50 XP. After completing your dance, the woman nods and bows you to you respectfully. I leave. Music is good for the spirit. The next challenge awaits. To the waterfall. Ah, Daijiku Waterfall. I've been looking forward to seeing this. As you near the waterfall, you hear people arguing. Approach the arguing people, yeah. You've had enough, dog. It's been 20 minutes. I was here first, you'll have to wait. You see one samurai underneath the waterfall and one not. Wait and listen. It would be best to let them resolve this alone. Besides, I need the cleansing more than you. Oh, is that so? Last night I visited a brothel in Nanai. Oh, really? So did I. Hmm, well, to my surprise, all the geisha were occupied with other men. Every single one. But I had traveled all the way, so I was willing to compromise. Ha 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 he 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 What's so funny? Sorry, friend, but I have to admit your misfortune was my fault. As it turns out, if you're lucky enough at, Ho at Chohan, you can afford many, many geisha. You bastard! Do you have any idea what you've made me do? I need to be cleansed! Get out! Trust me, boy. I did some things myself, hee <laughs> hee. You've left me no choice. Hi! Bastard. At least they died happy. The samurai begins to meditate under the now unoccupied waterfall. I overheard something about a brothel. Yes, um, some activities dirty not only the body, but the soul, too. I'm sure you'd understand. So I suppose you're here to cleanse yourself as well? Of course. Why else would I come? I've waited a long time and even killed someone. Wait until I am done and do not disturb me. I'll just paint the scenery. I'd rather not. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought he meant paint the scene. I thought for a second when he said I'd rather not wait. He meant, I'm going to paint the scenery with this guy's blood. Painting is a perfectly suitable substitute. You spend an hour painting the scenery. I got a painting. Worth ten dollars. Means I have to drop something. Like this incomplete armor. One of my best works. Perhaps someone would be interested in buying it. I didn't think waterfalls were in such short supply. The next challenge awaits. Cool beans. There's an old scary man in the way of Shimuda village, so I'm not gonna go that way. I'm kind of worried about him. Hachigo farm, a farm within a beautiful valley. You think I would sell to a bottom feeder such as you? I'm a good, honest merchant. Ha, there's no such thing. Get off my property, scum. Please, I'm desperate. I'm gonna side with the merchant, specifically because I want to sell things. Before me, you are both subordinate. You must work together for the greater good. Hm, I suppose so. I'm glad you're seeing clear. You're seeing things clearer now. How many bushels will you sell me? Hmm. After a brief negotiation, the farm and the merchant have made a deal. Thank you, Samurai. You've given my family a chance to survive. It's my duty. I must use my strength to enforce cooperation when, necess when necessary. You are most honorable. Here, take this. Wow. Thanks. That's actually really good. I wanted to sell stuff. I wanted to actually trade to you. There are disputes everywhere I go. My services are needed elsewhere. To Shimuta Village. Shimuta Village, a dull village. You're over here in altercation. Ha, I win again. Cheater, what's your trick? I meditate under a waterfall twice per day is all. Everyone's meditating under waterfalls. That's impossible. What's going on here? This scrawny bastard challenged me to an arm wrestling match. Haha, <laughs> that's right. And? And they used some kind of cheap trick to beat me. I have no tricks. You're just a sore loser. What did you say to me? Intercede. Stop. You will not fight in my presence. Let me arm wrestle. No, no, no. Why are you upset over losing? 
I'm upset because they only arm wrestle for bets. This bastard made me bet 10 coins and then tricked me. It's true, I only wrestle for bets, but I have no tricks. Hmm. You need to accept defeat. Let your failures drive you to improve. Hmm, that's easy for you to say. You arm wrestle the bastard, you'll see. No, <laughs> I have nothing to prove and I don't want to look like an idiot. Sure you don't. Fine, I'll be on my way then. It seems there's nothing else of interest in this village. Such villages remind me of home. The next challenge awaits. How's my character doing? Very gracious. All right, well, I'm going to go to Uracho Shishihima Farm. Urato Ishihama Farm. An obscure farm. A field with many large leaf green plants stands before you. Is this the tobacco I've heard so much about? It is, friend. Care to buy some? Tell me about tobacco. Tobacco is a wonderful plant brought by the gaijin. It produces a fragrant smoke. Like incense? Yes, but you breathe the smoke. It enhances your focus and energy. That sounds wonderful. It is. Care to buy some? Yes. Mainly because I can sell things to you. And boy, oh boy. I need to buy the pipe and the bag. And I can sell some more stuff. Thank God. Because I really needed to sell some stuff. Enjoy! Farewell. Tobacco farms must be getting more common. My services are needed elsewhere. Dude, smoking is cool. Let's go to this temple. Saburi Temple, such a peaceful place. Approaching the temple, you don't see any monks. Hello, is anyone here? As you enter the temple, you see a Sison box on your left. Donate a coin to the temple? Sure, you put a coin in the Sison box. You feel lucky. 50 free XP. Wow, Saburi Temple has a powerful Kami indeed. The temple was nice to see, even though it was empty. The next challenge awaits. Dude, we're getting free XP by donating. It's so easy. Oh, that's too far back. I can only move forward. I, I have to move forward with no regrets. Dude, we're getting close to the dojo, and then we die. That's a bummer. We have not gotten much XP. Nagatani Beach, a large stretch of sandy beach. Often in distance, see a samurai who appears to be searching for something. Approach the samurai. Perhaps what they are searching for will prove interesting. Several minutes later, you are nearing the samurai. The noise of the ocean has concealed your approach. Sneak up on them. Damn it. I was so stupid. Greetings. Whoa! Sorry, I didn't hear you approach. Greetings. Why, hello there. What are you searching for? It's embarrassing. Yes? I lost my sword on this beach last night. You are a disgrace. No true samurai would misplace their sword. I know, I'm embarrassed. I'll be heading to the nearest waterfall as soon as I recover my sword, please. Will you help me search? Yes, certainly I can see you are in need. Thank you. After an hour of searching, you haven't found anything. Either my eyes have failed me or it is not here. Return to the owner. Sure. Ah, welcome back. Any luck? That's a lie. I didn't find it. No. That is unfortunate. Still, thank you for trying. Here's some money. He gives me seven dollars. That was embarrassing. Next challenge awaits. Chat, we only have two more places to go before the fucking master fight. The stench of rice paddies thick here. It must be Shimono Seki Farm. Nestled in the middle of a rice paddy, you see a small house. Approach the house. As you approach the house, an old man exits to greet you. Ah, hello there, samurai. Do you fight for the T Takega clan? Who? Do I? I mean, I'm wearing their armor. Yes. Oh, excellent. You know, I used to fight for the Takega clan. Ah, my younger years, of course. Have you spit in any great battles? I have. I was in the battle for Oniwaki. I even killed a man. <laughs> Can you guess who? It was none other than the legendary Okimoto Kuniaki. Ah, yes, it was a great battle indeed. No, don't interrupt him. They were armed with terror terrifying Nagamaki. 
Little did they know my training partner always used a Nagamaki. I played like I was an amateur, then at the last moment, BAM! I dashed inside his strike range. They tried to back up, but I was quite spry in my youth, you see. I bet it's hard to imagine for a young kid such as yourself. That's the problem with your generation. You have trouble remembering the important things. Where was I? Oh, yes, my fight with Okimoto Kudiaki. When they realized they were no match for my speed and footwork, they dropped their Nagamaki, and that's when the battle really began. Several hours later, the man finally appears to have finished his story. And that's how I won the battle and shaped the fate of the Takega clan. That was an impressive tale. Thank you, it's been so long since anyone has listened to me. I want you to have this. It's the sword I used to defeat Okimoto Kuniaki. Oh my god. A legendary blade. That's good. You honor me. Farewell. I kill him. Die. I'll be glad to get out of this stench. My services are needed elsewhere. I need to rest at the next stop to get my uh, HP all the way to maximum before the fight. Nukanome farm, another smelly rice paddy. You hear a heated argument up ahead. You failed in your duty, peasant. I have not. By my estimates, you're 14 bushels short. Uh, I'm gonna leave. I don't want to get involved. I'm gonna leave and rest. After a short rest, you feel more healthy. Yeah, I need to. I need to get my health up to full before the fight. Takega Dojo, home of the legendary Chudan Master. As you approach the dojo, you see two samurai training outside. Seichiro Chan, you must be more patient. Oh my God! You must exercise your mind as well as your body. But master, my mind cannot wield a sword. Of course not, but it is important to seek balance in all things. I disagree. Your master is a fool, Seichiro san. It is I, courageous and gracious warrior. The way of the warrior is death. Only the weak claim otherwise. Such arrogance. The master seems angry. Do not speak to my student. Sichiro Chan, go home and think about what we have discussed. Yes, master. What is your name, samurai? You don't recognize me. No, it, it can't be. Sichiro Chan's father? That's right. Seichiro Chan's training is not complete. I won't let you take them. You get no say in the matter. The master seems furious. He's getting faster and stronger. Seichiro Chan is staying with me. I think I made him more powerful. Oh, he's waiting for the right moment to strike me. Well, I'm going to just brace, because that doesn't use any energy. Be careful, child. I have nothing I can do right now. I truly have nothing I can do. I, I literally have nothing I can do. I'm going to just wait. John is slashing towards your right shoulder. No! Okay, he's going towards my right shoulder. I can dodge this. I have high perce I've got my perception. I'm still faster. Dodge it. She is waiting for the moment to act. Okay. Catch my breath. Still got enough to I'm gonna blink. He's preparing to slash your left shoulder. We need to burn his energy, but he doesn't seem to be interested in burning energy. Uh don't I have like stuff on my character? I have tobacco, but I can't actually use that. I have a full, I have my full heal thing, but it would tire me out to zero energy, which would be really bad. Uh, so that's like an emergency thing. Send in the turtle, the turtle. I don't want to send in the turtle. Look, for now, we're going to keep playing very safe. Okay. Right now, this is a play it safe fight. We're both gonna, I'm gonna wa I wanna figure out what his deal is for a minute. Just 
just hang out another second. So he's regenerating his energy every time. Your life is fragile. He's not doing anything. I'm gonna do a thruster. God, it's gonna it's gonna cost me a whole turn. Here's the thing. I already know that there's no I'm gonna have to eat a hit basically to do this. I'm gonna aim for I'm just gonna aim for his chest. Oh! Huge fucking hit! He has no reaction! Get our energy back! Wipe my brow. No. How much enemy? Okay. Get a breath. He's waiting for the right moment. We're gonna blink. He's still waiting again. We're gonna attack with another thrust to his chest. Take your five! He dodged that one. He's attacking my right shoulder. We can parry that. We already know, we know he's attacking my right shoulder. We're gonna st- oh, Fuck, he's too- he's too fast. We have to dodge still. We'll have exactly enough time to do it. What? If it meets- is it like AC where if it meets it hits? I guess it's like D&D &D AC. So if it meets... Because it's like approximate. Okay, well, that's not enough to kill me yet, but I need to get my energy back. So uh, I'm going to wait two, and then blink. And I'm gonna wait another two. Is he healing? He's healing. Well, I'm not gonna attack during this one. I'm gonna wait another cycle. Now we thrust his chest again. Okay. One more hit and he's done. Catch breath again. Attack. Thrust. Chest. Go for it. Fuck. He's attacking my shoulder. It's gonna meet again. Isn't it? Yep. So anything I can do. That's 72. No way. Uh, okay. Best thing I can do is wait. Get my energy back. He's going after my left shoulder, which is not good, because if, if he breaks it, I think I fucking die. I'm gonna brace. No, I live. Think before you act. I am thinking before I act right now, and what I'm thinking is that I'm going to stab you. God damn it. He's just punishing that move, and I don't... Okay, well, I have to eat, I have to eat the sushi. Which actually didn't fuck up my fatigue, uh, apparently. So I'm going to defend. I'm going to brace. He's waiting for the right moment. Last time I responded immediately when that happened, I got punished for it. So I'm going to wait a minute. I'm going to wait until the next cycle of this. And then I'm going to attack with a thrust to his chest again. How much health can he still have? Six, dude! Really? He has six left? Catch my breath. And wait. We're gonna wait another cycle. I'm going to blink. I'm going to blink. He's waiting for something. I'm waiting for something. We're both waiting. One hit. We'll do it. If it connects, otherwise he immediately punishes me. How is he? He's dead. He's dead. I got him. I'm the champ. I am the champ. Heals when waiting. Yo. Legendary blade. I. There it is. There it is. First dojo master defeated, I will write a poem to honor this occasion. Roaring winter storm, rushing to its utter end, ever sounding sea. Hmm, can I just like kind of, can I sort of encapsulate what this fight actually was? Wait, 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 swing? Wait, 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 wait.
The next region awaits. To Ordano. A merchant vessel. A place to sell my wares. Man-made island. I'm told the Gaijin are allowed to trade here. Hail, friend. I have many good items from the far west. Would you like to see? Did I heal at the end of this fight? I did not take all that much damage, to be fair. Sure. Well. Whoa. 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 I'm gonna buy that sake for the XP. Does anyone want my paintings? <laughs> Does anyone want my just loads of garbage that I'm still just kind of carrying around? Anyone? Not really much else I need. My weapons are all pretty good. Thank you for your business. Is there anything else I can do for you? Do I break character chat and just start? I'm. Uh, here's the thing. What does it matter if I spare lives now when I am already dishonorable? I'm already cursed. What is... Earn it back. You can't. That's <laughs> not how it works. I need some speed to back up my perception. Gosh, I don't know. Tell me about the Gaijin. I don't care for them. They're large, hairy, and stink like animals. Despite being illiterate, they're, they build incredible boats. Strange. I've heard the Gaijin god Isu gives them evil magic. That would make sense. Thanks for talking. I should return to my work. Farewell. I wonder what the Gaijin lands are like. My services are needed elsewhere. We will go to the city. Kinonai City. The city is famous for its geisha. I'm told there's a geisha house on every street. Up ahead, you see a geisha house. Looks like the rumors are true. I'm gonna look for something else. So this city has much to offer. The market. We're gonna hang out in the market. A merchant approaches you. My wares are of the highest quality. See for yourself. Sure. It's all not good. None of it's very good, man. It's all bad. All of your wares are bad. Another satisfied customer. Dealing with the lower classes is unpleasant, but at times necessary. My services are needed elsewhere. We'll go to this village. Kami Oniri Village, home of the legendary chef Gakuto. Even though you cannot yet see the village, you just pick up the mouth-watering smell of food. Many chefs travel here on a cooking pilgrimage. I'm fortunate this happened on my way. Follow the smell of food? Yeah. After a short walk, you found the source of the smell. Hello, please have a seat. I'll be out in a minute. Oh, Samurai, what can I do for you? I want to eat food now. Perfect, I was just getting ready to cook. Have you brought with me something special to cook? Sure, I have something for you to cook. Excellent, I do love a challenge. What have you brought for me? A live turtle? I wonder what I should cook with this. Ah, I know. The chef runs eagerly to the kitchen. I suppose I'll sit down and wait. An hour later, the chef exits the kitchen holding a platter. Thank you, Samurai. You brought me something truly special with it. I've made a dish worthy of the Emperor. The chef sits down with a platter of fruit before you. On the platter, you see a bowl of spicy turtle curry. Eat? I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. I thought I'd get to like order off a menu. I gave it to you, I gave it to you assuming you'd feed it to someone else. I don't want this. I'm gonna eat it. The dish is incredibly delicious. You can't help but finish it quickly. Wow, thank you so much. No, thank you. It was an honor to prepare such a dish. Very well. Perception up. I don't think I need more perception. I think that's enough perception. We'll always know where stuff's going. Now I need speed. I'm gonna go to this village. Oniwaki Village, home of the legendary chef Arinobu. Two chefs in a row, huh? Wait, did we just get the same thing again? This place just got a lot of really good chefs. Y'all yeah, follow the smell of food. After a short walk, you found the source of the smell. Hello, please have a seat. I'll be out in a minute. Now we can know what the other option was. Oh, 
a samurai. What can I do for you? I want more food. I brought something for you to cook. I want you to cook this tobacco. A tobacco bag? I wonder what I could cook with this. Ah, I know. The chef runs eagerly to the kitchen. <laughs> it's not even food. You can't eat tobacco. What a fucking idiot. Chef runs out with a platter before you. On a platter, you see the bowl, a bowl of rice. I'm sorry, Samurai, but I failed. I tried to cook the tobacco bag, but it was too great a challenge for me. Eat. So what happened to the bag? I tried boiling, roasting, and even frying the tobacco bag. In the end, the tobacco bag was destroyed beyond recognition. Eat. Die. Help! Help! <laughs> heel turn! Heel turn! Frantic heel turn! End of the line, old man! Help! The weak have no place standing before the strong. <laughs> Such villages remind me of home. A tear falls from my eye. My services are needed elsewhere. A single tear again falls from my eye. After a long climb, you finally reach the top of the chilly mountain. There's a temple up ahead. Maybe it would be a warm place to rest. Approach the temple. A samurai exits the temple to approach you. You've finally come to raid our humble temple, have you? What are you talking about, miserable thief? Say one more line, you will taste my steel. Uh, have I done something to offend you? The presence of such dishonorable scum would offend anyone. I could kill you with a single blow. Return and run, thief. I have done nothing wrong. I'm going to shut your mouth for you. Ha! Go ahead and try! All right, shun. Opponent is waiting. He's awaiting for an attack. Well, first of all, since he's waiting, let's switch our stance. Right now he's in Hasso. We'll go to Waki. Damn, that took a lot of my... I thought he wasn't that fast. I guess switching the stance took a lot of my time. Well, we are going to brace. Shoulders in pain. However, I don't even get to see how much time I have to attack right now. Well, he's thrusting towards my head. He's faster than me. I'm going to stop my move. I'm going to defend. I know he's going towards my head. Which means he's probably going to, which means he's going to know that I know that he's going towards my head. Unfortunately, I can't block my head with my thing right now because of my position. So I'm going to simply dodge with a weave. He's waiting. I also want to wait because of my percep, because of my energy. He's thrusting towards my left shoulder. I definitely don't have time to parry that. Nor do I, nor am I in the position to parry that. So, I'm going to defend with another dodge. Pasha, how's your energy doing? Not good. I'll wait one more cycle and then you'll be out of energy and then you die. He's slashing towards my head and he's, he's, he's exhausted. Well, that's perfect. I'm going to dodge one more time and then you die. I weave. Prepare yourself for death. Nice energy, asshole. Ha, shaha. He still gets a swing at my head even though his head is currently flopping off. That doesn't seem fair, but I'll block. <laughs> that doesn't, his, hair, his head's flopping off as he's swinging at me. I want, whatever. He wasn't even worth the blade. Were they insane? Did they mistake me for another? At least now no one will bother me while I rest in the temple. After a short while, you're ready to leave. I'm still exhausted from the climb, but it feels good. The next challenge awaits. We need more speed. We need more speed. And I also need to rest at my next station. Rest at this waterfall. That's always a lovely place to rest. Cool waterfall mixes with a hot spring, producing a luxurious steaming pool. Should I meditate or bathe? Leave. I want to heal. Next, we will go to this trade post. I have money. I heard merchants here are really busy. Come and see my wares. Yeah, sure. Don't know armor. I mean, my gear is so good that I don't imagine I'm ever going to buy anything but like the best of items. I think I kill every merchant from now on. The next challenge awaits. 
to the mountain. Shitona Mountain, a place for you have been. You hear a distinctive sound of a hammer. It's, it's him! It's him! It's him! Approach the old man. The old man doesn't appear to notice you. Greetings. The old man is ignoring you or can't hear you. Hello! Can you hear me? After several minutes, the man turns to face you. It's rude to disturb those who are focused on their work. Leave. I apologize. Mm, it's okay, but don't do it again. What can I do for you? Can you make me a sword? Mm, answer me this. Should a samurai obey an unjust order from their lord? It depends. A choice between duty and integrity must be carefully considered. Interesting, yes. I think you are worthy to wield a Motoshige sword. Return in a few hours. A few hours later, you return. Ah, you've returned. Here is Kogu. Hi. My weapon is better. It's a fine weapon, but there's still room for improvement. I think another Motoshige Smith would be able to- Oh, you can upgrade these. Use it well. Ah, they give you like a custom one. You can upgrade it at the mountains. Cool. Motoshige Smiths must enjoy the solitude of the mountains. My services are needed elsewhere. How's my character? Oh, courageous and gracious. That means no one will get mad if I kill some people later. Sorry, but I can't loan anymore. You already owe me 96 coins. So what? Uh... I'm gonna stay silent. You won't be able to repay your debt as it is. I don't intend to. What? Give me the money or die, bottom feeder. Help! I'm gonna help. Stop! Huh? Lord Odano has ordered your arrest. You should leave if you value your freedom. Kunuhisa seems frightened. I see. He runs. Thank you, Samurai. Please take this. Wow, twelve dollars. Would you like to trade? Die. You saved my life only to end it. Most dishonorable! <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly the kind of behavior I've been talking about. He's preparing to slash toward my left shoulder. Stop. Defend. Parry. Get parried upon. Get parried upon, asshole. You're staggered. Time to die. Dude, having high perception changes everything. Parry. Right shoulder. Block it. Get staggered again. That's it. We now have the speed to do this properly. Right shoulder a second time. Attack. How you feeling, man? How you feeling? He's thrusting at my right shoulder. Defend with a dodge. We've... Wait. Brow wipe. He's slashing towards my left shoulder. I know exactly where he's slashing. Which means I can perfectly defend it. Again. Left shoulder. Parry. Block it. Stagger. How are you feeling, man? You still doing okay? How are you feeling? Attack. Slash. Face. Kill. Die. He tried to eat sushi. And then he died. Dude, it's like, I, I don't... Do not care about these people anymore. They don't carry. I, I interacting with merchants is a waste of my time. Filthy merchant. <laughs> another day, another squabble. The next challenge awaits. Merchants are subhuman. I don't concern myself with them. Okay, I, I'm not even getting like punishment in my morals for it. Yes, I am dishonorable. Chat. Technically, if I want to get XP for like future characters, I need to have my character commit seppuku. Here's what we do, chat. We're very strong right now. Do we go as far as we can, end our life, and then do a psycho die run immediately after? Like, I think that, cause that gets rid of the dishonorable debuff. I think we do that and then we do a Omega die run and kill everyone, you know? I must never miss an opportunity to pay my respect to brewers. At the corner of the wide plaza, you see a sign labeled Mitani Nikawa Sake Brewery. How is my character's health? Perfect. Walk around the back. After walking around the back of the brewery, you hear voices from beyond the rear entrance. No, now! I won't discuss it any further. Please listen to me, father. Enter through the... Yeah, go inside. Break inside. With my new technique, we will save so much time. Yes, but it's too wasteful, idiot. You're too young to understand. You're too old to understand. Get back to work, you brat. 
Greetings! What do you want? Be more respectful, dog! Huh. I just want to tell me about your new technique. It's pretty simple, really. Normally, we break our back smashing the rice up before adding the koji. I ran a test batch without smashing the rice, and it turns out much better. Ha! Huh. Better on your back, perhaps. We save time and money. How could you dislike that? Our family has smashed the rice for 500 years! How dare you disrespect your father? Arrogance! Yes, exactly! If you speak of this nonsense again, I will have you beaten! The son looks at you angrily. Thank you for helping me convince my son. Here, have a drink. Wow, thanks. We must return to our work. Thank you for visiting. Leave. There is yet more to exploit. You know what? I'm not afraid of this roadside vagrant. I'm gonna fucking go to them. Who dares? Someone approaches. Wrong place, wrong time, friend. Nozomi. The, she's got like a stick. No, you chose the wrong place and wrong time. What stance are you? A take Hasso stance, no. They're thrusting towards my left leg. Defend with a dodge. Oh, it's gonna meet. Defend with a brace. Only 26. Okay. We are going to attack with a thrust. No. With a full power slash to their head and cut their head off. They're thrusting towards my left leg again. Okay, stop. Defend. Dodge. What the fuck is going- What is- <laughs> What about Perry? Oh, perfect. Get owned. Get owned. You're staggered. Get owned. Get your head cut off. Get owned. Get owned. Get owned. I have time to rest my lungs before I parry your sorry ass. Aiming for my right leg. More like get parried. More like get parried, far but get owned again. Ha. He. Ha. Pathetic. I'm only taking your money. It is not my time. How much XP do I have? 140? Fuck. I need to kill who lives here so that I can get the XP off of their body. Because if I do, I level up my strength. So unfortunately, someone's getting died right now. Come try my fish. It's very, very fresh. I can assure you, not one person has painfully died after eating. I know it's hard to believe. Kill him. Sorry, man. I need your XP. I literally have to kill you. I truly have to kill you. He's slashing towards my arm. Defend with a parry to my left arm. Staggered. Attack with a slash to his chest. Right now. He's dead. Thanks for the XP. Ha 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 ha. And the sushi. <laughs> yes. Yes. Who gives a fuck about incense? Give me more sushi. Why would you do this? Because I'm more powerful. An easy kill. I want more damage. No, I want more speed. The smell of a fish market bothers some, but not me. There's yet more to be done. I think I commit seppuku after I'm done... Oh, another person on the road. Get wrecked. This person just said get wrecked to me. They're thrusting towards my leg. Ow! Stop! I'm going to attack with a slash at his face. He's preparing to slash at my right leg. Okay, stop. Defend with a parry. Right leg. He broke my parry! He's stronger than me! Ow! He's slashing towards my right leg. Defend with a dodge. Weave. Weave around them. Catch my breath. Defend with another dodge. Another weave. After this, he'll be exhausted. It's time. 
Sorry it had to end like this, old man. <laughs> Dodge. Perfect weave. No one is surprised. Sorry it had to end like this a second time, old man. I'm so good at this game now. I've gotten so much more powerful. But I gotta commit seppuku. Have I leveled? No, I don't have enough to get anything else. Yeah, it sucks that we got cut off right at the end. Okay, character. Real quick, before that happens. It uses... We want to heal ourselves. Oh, we're already basically at full. I guess we didn't take any damage. Odano Dojo, home of the legendary Weapon Master. Uh-oh. As you approach the dojo, you hear shouting. Oh my god. You think these are fit for my collection? Yes, as the most recent creations of the great smith Shigehiro Michi Michi Butsu. These are trash! They're not even fit to pick my teeth with! Well, yes, I wouldn't pick my teeth with these either. I'm only interested in the greatest of swords. Be gone, you're wasting my time. You there! Have you brought me something? Greetings. My name is Akitsugu Dono. That's nice. Have you brought me something? No. I'm not interested in idle chatter. Why are you still standing there? Duel me or die. Perhaps the sword you wield is suitable for my collection. I accept. She's going to die by my hands. I'm going to wait? She's preparing to use Ken. Chad, what the hell is Ken? Uh, I choose dodge action. She's... What the hell? Who's Ken? I slash at her head. She's moving high to defend. All right, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I slash at her arm. She's parrying high to defend. Attack. She's waiting. Wait, too. She's preparing to use Gankyu. Who are these people? I slash at her arm a second time. Idiot. Ah! ah! She took an extra action despite the fact that that's not legally how, what you can do. I weave. I wait. Why was she able to like skip turns? What? I'm so confused. I'm so, she did illegal actions. She circumvented my character dodging before her move. I got parried to death. I still got a lot of favor. All right, chat. This is the seppuku die character. We're going to we're going to do some we're going to do some crimes. Oh, so it carries only per like each guy. So the better you do in a previous one, the better the next guy will do, but it doesn't carry over forever. So we have enough to buy one other thing. A uh, chance to heal when striking. Chance to avoid vital damage, chance to gain no fatigue, chance for enemies to miss. Miss. The other ones are things that you can easily avoid. We will play... Yugi. Everyone remembers how, how, how badass Yugi was. Your village was just, just destroyed by samurai loyal to the emperor. Yugi, I'm glad you made it out alive. You even recovered the other sword and armor. Are you planning to retaliate? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, no. Did the explosion damage your ears? What? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, no. The explosion must have damaged your brain. You'll be wandering imbecile from a broken village. I can't stand to live and see this tragic story reach its conclusion. Tomiyoki-san assumes an otherworldly gaze, and they reveal a knife and plunge it into their belly. End their suffering. No. The seven dojo masters wait, and I run away. The last thing they hear is they say that, and run away. We will go. To Weebo. All right, chat. You guys know the law. You all know the law. Die no matter what. You cruise city. This city is famous for its geisha. I'm told there's a geisha house on every street. We know these rules. Enter the geisha. Sure. Greetings, honorable samurai. You're very wise to choose our geisha. It doesn't seem you have enough mo money to, for our services. I'm sorry. Die. Someone help! Help! No, no, no. Just die. 
They're moving high to defend me. Okay. Slice. Slice and swing and slice and swing and block and attack and slash at arm and slice. You're running out of arms to use, lady. She's thrusting high. She actually has a weapon. I'm just going to dodge it. Dodged. Hey, get dodged. Get dodged on. And by the way, left arm. She's moving mid to dodge. Okay. All right. I'm going to wipe my brow. She's waiting. Attack. Slash. Head. She's going to try to block it. She's moving to dodge. All right. Wait. Brow wipe. I'm actually going to wait again. Catch my breath. I'm actually going to wait again. Heartbeat. How's my step? Wow, you're slow. Holy shit, lady. You live like this? And decapitate. <laughs> How you so, why are you so slow, though? That's embarrassing. Dodge. Next time, just die early. Whoa, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god. Those with no honor do not deserve life. Traveling through a city has its own reward. Fate guides me. Okay. We're gonna go to this village next and kill people from there. Yago Village, a well-known tea house for weary travelers. Up ahead, you see an, ordinary, an orderly garden surrounding a small, humble building. Enter the building. Welcome, Samurai. Would you like Usucha or Koicha? Die. Please, no! Now die. Die now. Please, yes? Thanks. The way of tea is a thriftless discipline. Such villages remind me of home. A tear falls from my eye. Death calls. I leave. I go to the mountain. We gotta start getting our legendaries. Oh no, we gotta avoid mountains. If you run into a mountain guy, we have to choose kill. Kawakami Mountain, farm above the, we have to avoid every mountain from now on. The seas below look rough today. Saturday, please help. We must burn these fields quickly. Die. <laughs> so the nightmare continues. He's slashing high towards me. Do I have time to switch my stance? Depends what his stance is. Oh, I'm already strong against him. Yikes, embarrassing. I'm going to dodge him. Dodged. Dodged. Stamina regained. Defend. Dodge. Weave. How's your energy doing, dude? Do you feel good? He's slashing high towards me. Dude, I'm going to... Nah, I won't instantly kill him. That's the problem. I need to do it slow. Let me wait. Whole wait. Because I have the time. Because this guy is the slowest motherfucker ever. How tired is he? Oh, he's out. He's done. He's done, man. It's over. It's all over now. He's still alive. God fucking damn it. Ow. Just fucking die, old man. A 12-folded katana for me. Weakness. Hmm. The ocean below looks higher than usual. A great tsunami builds before crashing down on the village below. Interesting. The cool mountain air has cleared my head. Death calls. Cool. This was a neat day for me. I think I want to avoid mountains because of the guy, but I'm not, I don't think I'll ever run into one. What up, Aricho Mountain? A mountain rich with metals. Oh, no. Hear the sound of many picks striking the earth. Get back to work, slave! Approach the voices. I deserve a break for bringing you such a rarity. Do not speak to me as an equal. Slap! Ah, okay, I'll get back to work. Greetings, friend. Is there something I can do for you? Die. What, wait, what now? Die. I said die. They're slashing high towards me. Stop. Defend. Wait, actually wait. Do this. Defend, dodge. Okay. A 
attack with a thrust to the face, the slashing high towards me. Stop, defend, dodge. Nope. First wait. Catch my breath. 69 time. Nice. Defend, dodge, weave. Just burning his energy first, and then, we'll, then he'll die. He's waiting. I too will wait. Defend, dodge, weave. He's almost done. Wait. And now he's done. Dodge. End of the line, old man. End of the line. He's still alive. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Well. Takes too much time to do any of those, so I guess I'll do the only thing I can do, and that's drink that sake to heal myself all the way to full, and then brace. That was not as dangerous as I thought it would be. Now die. He, I, dude, I don't understand why sometimes people don't die when you, when you remove their life from them, you know? Like, how's that possible? How was he alive? His head was cut off. His head was removed. He was dead. The world is better without them. Approach the slaves? Yeah. Greetings. Please don't hurt me. Die. My death is of no benefit to you. Most dishonorable. I know, but I legally, only I can be the judge of that. Only I can be the judge of those things. Shaha. Shaha. Neat. They really had nothing. Death is its own reward. The strength of the mountains inspires me. Death calls. Death is its own reward. That is some Shadow the Hedgehog shit. Another mountain. Nishi Totsuda Mountain. Territory of Tengu. Rumor says these mountains are thick with Tengu. What will you do? Search. Let's see what I can find. Hours pass with no success. I've had enough. Rumors are unreliable indeed. Death calls. Hello! Oh, oh. Why are you here, human? Die! Ha ha ha! Slash his head off! Ha ha ha! Sojibo waves a seven feathered fan over your face. Your nose grows in size. Ha 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 ha! Farewell, big nosed fool! How dare you! That must have been the king of the Tengu! Death calls! Big nose, minus one perception. Whatever, I'm not a perception build. I don't care. I don't care. Uraporo City, city famous for its geisha. There's a be Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again, killing, killing prostitutes. Just, just doesn't ever feel that great. She's slashing high towards me. Stop. Wait. Catch my breath. Defend. Dodge. Weave. Let them tire themselves out. Wait. Defend. Dodge. Weave. Now they're tired. Attack. Thrust. Right in their face. They still have more energy apparently. Defend. Dodge. Weave. Wait, brow wipe. God, you are seriously relentless. Dodge. Now it's over. Forever. Goodbye. Ha ha! Ha, dude, I just don't understand how you're alive. Woo! All worth it, baby. All worth it, baby. All worth it, baby. Those with no honor do not deserve to live. Traveling through the city has its own reward. Death calls. I sprint out the door to the beach. No, to a temple. These places. There's a person on the road. Hang on, let me level up. Uh, perception's already at zero. There's no point trying to level it. Boost my strength. I want to hit harder. I am already dead. Huh? Are you? Maybe I can instant kill them. Nope. 
Defend, brace. We'll end this quickly. Attack. They're dead. Defend, brace. They cut my head off and I died. <laughs> I was not counting my health, to be honest. <laughs> well, that's a that's a fun game. I had a, I had fun playing. Oh! I gotta wrap up early because I need to get some stuff done. I need to wake up really early tomorrow, so I don't want to go for a super long stream tonight. I think we've gotten the gist of this game. But hey, chat, the game is two dollars, so not bad, not bad at all. Uh, it was fun. Though, considering we're already seeing, like, some repeats, it's very clearly, you know, $2 of content. But a well-spent $2, to be honest. I like that a lot. Actually, like, a really engaging combat system, too. So, not bad. Uh, anyways, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, or I should be, unless, like, something, something wacky happens. Uh, we'll be doing the new Stanley Parable game so that'll be cool that'll be at 3 p.m ish est we're gonna do the new stanley parable hopefully i'm not too sleepy i'm gonna go to sleep early so hopefully when i get it over to my doctor's appointment it won't be super busy but yeah we'll um we'll go from there anyways Thanks if you gifted subs or donated, gave bits or anything like that. I mighty appreciate it, as always. Darora uh, gave uh, 5,000 bits at some point in that. Thank you, Darora. Awfully kind, as well as gifting 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Darora. Very kind of you. Grimbo the Ooze, also uh, with 1,000 bits. Fun fact, the character on screen is based on a kabuki actor, which is a form of Japanese theater. Additionally, kabuki used to allow women to play roles. However, they ended up being used for prostitution. Is this a fun fact? Does it get fun? The Japanese government at the time was like, hold up, that ain't right. So from that point on, young men played the roles of women, but were unfortunately still used for prostitution. So then only adult men were permitted to play all the parts. Dude, that's not a fun fact. Learn what a fun fact is. That wasn't fun. I hate you. I hate you now. Now I hate you. There were no 70 fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> I choose die. All right, chat. I'll see you all. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.